Tristan, we're not going to get him to eat ass on the podcast. I um, <laughs> just wanted to know. Ben's saying that because he lost all the Tristan's person in the room, and it's Ben. We can't, if we start with Zach, without um, Zach, it's going to be a big fucking problem. He's going to throw a hissy fit. No. That's crazy. How is he taking so long? Was, that's it's crazy. He was, he was just saying that about you, Ben. He said, oh, God, if Ben shows up, Jesus Christ, it's going to be the worst day of my life. I, I was making a hot pocket. Yeah, I'm sure you were. <laughs> ben, I like your shirt. It's very you like cute. my shirt? It's yeah. very cute. Uh, it's Teddy Fresh. And SpongeBob. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I bought it, I bought it when uh, not everybody hated them. Oh, oh, that's like a long time ago. Yeah. Hey, Zach, we kind of like half started without you. <laughs> what? No, no. I was having I mean, audio issues. Wait, let me turn on my camera. Hey, Zach, you want to enter the show? Ah, wait, let me adjust my camera. Hey, wait, can you, before we even, before I even let you start the intro of the show, can you, let me do anything. can you please not have a center part? What? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you gotta, um, you gotta, you gotta uh, swing it to one side, my brother. Shit, where, where is Barney and Brian? Can I ask you that? <laughs> what is on your like forehead? Can I ask you that? It's his third eye. There we go. You look, you look wonderful, Zach. I like your haircut. Oh, I thought you were oh, oh, the you. show. Into the show. It looks, it looks weird with a headset. What's up, everyone? It's episode 21, so you know what that means. We're getting drunk. We're get, Some of us are getting high, I assume. He's drinking shut coffee. Up, shut the f- pussy, pussy. <laughs> it's not Did coffee. Did you bring any it's alcohol? Oh, what, is, what it? is it? It's Diet Coke with vodka, a little bit. Oh, a yeah. no. little bit. He said a little I was bit. I was going to go out. I, t- I told Tristan <laughs> earlier, I was, I was like, I was, gonna, I'm gonna, I was supposed to go out and actually pick up like just a six pack of something and a Red Bull. Um, I did not do that. I did not do that. I just get, it took some of my mom's Diet Coke, some of my dad's vodka, and just mix it in a. Vodka is definitely. Uh, I thought this was episode twenty-one, not episode sixteen. Bro, <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, dude, so the, how, the the only thing this show cannot do now is uh, rent a car, adopt a child, and certain guns. And they can't run for president. You got to be thirty-five. No, true, dude. When this show is able. to the run for president that'll go crazy that might be Campaigns. around the election we should you should make sure that that episode episode 35 lands on january 6th 28 28 what is 28 weeks from today Shut i up. don't you're asking this fucking show dude it's like I two years uh no wait no, there's 12 that's months a year. Year. <laughs> there's someone that has like an <laughs> average level of intelligence that's losing their mind right now at the fact that four grown men can't it's figure out what it's 28 guy, weeks equals it's that guy in it, our it's comments 52, it's 52 weeks in a year 28 is one more week than 27 like which is carry the one <laughs> yeah, 26 a so it's two that's more weeks than 26 so it's uh it's six months and two weeks six so, and a half months the, I think the only person that's actually intelligent that would get that right off the bat would be that guy that commented in our on our short earlier that said that we should say the N-word for funny. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, um, we're attracting the wrong kind of people. I don't blame myself at all. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I genuinely, I don't know if this is copium. What does copium mean, Zach? It means a little, green, it means a little green guy. That's right. Um... So it might be copium, but I swear on everything. I think that it is just shorts users that are like that. I don't think that oh, is they're a, awful, right? They're awful. It's not just yeah. it's not like our no, shorts users. It's just, and, and then like, you know, I, I, I respect a lot of political beliefs out there, but it is surprisingly very alt right. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's incredible. Like, it's incredible. You guys are just like harassing your audience base. Yeah. We oh. are. Anyways, it's That's um, cool. it's it's alcohol night. We it's have an objective night. here. We have a mission tonight. Okay. Hey guys, we never really had a mission before. That's true. Now our mission is to get drunk. So I do have um, here a little beer. I'm going to pour in a second. This is from a, a, I recently discovered this. It's a local local beer. Look at that. We're both drinking local local beers. And I'm going to yeah, I'm going to crack open this crispy lager from the the shop in Tempe, Arizona. Not sponsored. Um, they don't bl- agree with what I'm saying. But before we start. I brought this out. This is um. <laughs> this is Brennavin. Do, does anyone know what Brennavin is? No, no. That's it's like the, if, you, um, if you're really no. drunk and you say my name in full. 
<laughs> this is the national liquor of Iceland. I brought this back from Iceland. It is only produced in Iceland, to my knowledge. Is that um, legal to bring that? Well, <laughs> I actually have a funny story about that. I really wanted to bring it back because it's a unique liquor that I wanted to keep in my home. Um, clearly, Brian. Yeah, we're talking about Icelandic liquor right now. Wait, Brian, do you know what Brennavin is? I've never heard of Brennavin. I'm going to restart my whole story. Anyways. Okay, um, yeah. I didn't want to interrupt I won't, anything too much. I won't, I won't do that for you. I'm sorry. You'll have to just pick up on uh, what's called context clues, something that <laughs> some of us know nothing about. Um, I scored very high Iceland. on my reading comprehension. Yeah. My <laughs> AC. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this I, I really wanted to bring back. I wait until we go to the airport, and they sell it there at the airport to bring back they oh, give you this little um they give you this little plastic bag that has like the seal of whatever the icelandic customs is and they stamp it so you're good to take it on a plane i will say there's a few little hiccups with that though number one the german customs allowed me to bring a lighter back on an airplane Oof. which i'm not sure is they should have done that mm. but i bought this little i heart berlin lighter because one in rome Half yeah. the fucking nation smokes cigarettes. Europe just smells like tobacco. Um, I bet. Anyways, <clears throat> so I have a lighter in my backpack. That the, the German guy looked at it. He was like, oh, whatever. He was like, fine, take it. Then I bought this in Iceland, and they let me take it back with a little sealed bag. So in 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 theory, I could have made, I could have stuffed a sock in this and made like a Molotov Ooh, cocktail I, I guess, on the I, plane. I guess I'm confused. I don't I, I don't like I don't pay attention to this kind of stuff. Who like I keep I get so much sauce in my hands, and then it gets in my face. Who makes the rules <laughs> with flying? Is it um? Is Each it, country has their own rules to it, but there's international standards that they must adhere to. So if 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 you I, I don't I guess I don't understand how why can you bring a light? I mean I guess obviously that's just within their standards and their policy. They just haven't had a nine eleven before. Right, that's so why, I, I, that's, 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 that's what I was going to say. Yeah, like, I mean, they haven't yeah, had like there's a, no TSA agents. I mean there's like a guy there to check you, right? But like you don't have to take your shoes off in Germany. To take uh, the, the good old you know days. what I mean? You know what I mean, boy? I don't think you should say the good old days when we're talking about Germany. <laughs> anyway, um, I love this, you know, ancestors and whatnot, but they weren't I great German, people. Yeah. Um, anyways, so I, I, they put this in a little you, plastic bag. You I seen my friend Kyle? You seen my friend Kyle? He's about this talk. You're, you're making a j- shut the fuck up, dude. Have you seen Kyle? I brought up a Kyle? brand that doesn't know me. How am I ever going to get sponsored by beer now? All right, All right start um, now. Iceland. Anyways, so um, that was the first thing. Was I just thought it was interesting that through two separate customs, I was allowed to bring a lighter, and um, I don't know how much proof this is. Um, yeah. Oh, it says like thirty. 37.5%. Either way, just a flammable... They don't let you take liquids this big on airplanes anyways. I could have bought a bigger one if I wanted to. Yeah. They let me bring a giant... Okay. They could have... Uh, fine. That's fine. Um, Wait, did you do that, Sean? Is that you? <laughs> no, no. That I promised that wasn't me. Because you gave, just fucking left. giggled. I brought, I, I, he's in the waiting room, so I figured he wanted to be dragged up. But I guess, I guess I just dragged him up and he did not want to be dragged up. <laughs> Go ahead, what? He's figuring out his camera. Um, uh, yeah, that definitely was not me. Just to be clear. <laughs> Anyway, so that, I wonder that what was, other loopholes there are with that, though. So, like, liquor oh, and a lighter too. you could do, but like, I don't know. If what else, what else do could you separate my box items? Cutter collection. <laughs> I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't even started drinking yet, but I'm already going to get this podcast banned in a few places. Uh, but if you wanted to commit your own domestic terrorist attack <laughs> on U.S. soil, you could fly to Europe and they'd be more lenient with you taking things on an interna- international flight back to the United States was what I learned. Don't quote me, bro. Well, oh, so you so you can plan something in Europe, and then you're like, it's very home. illegal to say I want to kill the president of the United States. <laughs> it's even more illegal. It'd be a funny to bit. Say, Have you seen the whitest kids you the know? Whitest bit? kids you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 It's even more illegal to point out the rooftop across the street from the White House. <laughs> Anyways, perfect, yeah. That was the first. How's that camera up, going? How's your camera? Oh, oh! There it is. <laughs> how's, Let's how's go it going over here. Let's go. Break out the vodka. No fish. What are you drinking, Barney? 
What am I drinking? Oh, Tell me. I don't know. Are you, are you drinking or He's no? He's already fucking. Oh, I'm just, <laughs> have I been drinking? I didn't catch any fish. I've been drinking. We got the controversial beer of the night. Oh. I was actually gonna pick up. I was actually gonna but drink a Bud Light the instead. Trans can. <laughs> can I buy one of those? Take this off. It's a it's a burden. Fuck. I have to assume they're still oh. available. I'm sure no, they're, they're still selling them. They like haven't taken them down, like, right? You, you, like that's still did they revoke the campaign? No, uh, no, no Alex, no, did no. you see a trans cans while you were there? Or what I don't even know if there's some trans cans. I should have had trans cans. I did, not, I did not see any trans cans. I wanted to get <laughs> that's, just I, a, I, that's just a catchy nickname. <laughs> it wouldn't have been the first time I caught a trans it's like a can. Southern southern trash can. Trans can. <laughs> <laughs> My trans can. I was in New London, so we saw some uh some drunks yelling at us. Some some good Why stuff. Why are they like yelling that. at you? Um, they weren't really yelling at us, but we went to a bait shop and we came back and there was a guy who was obviously ex- very, very intoxicated. Mm. And he was like, 60 bucks and you could park your boat over here. And he was like, what the fuck? In the middle of the night, I'm over here. And he, yeah, he saw we had a boat and he was trying to co- corral us in. And it get, was uh, a quick buck. He was a sketchy individual. We were just talking about how you can bring uh, um, alcohol and a lighter on a German flight. Should I should I start the story again for a third time? <laughs> yeah, let's get a yeah. little no. I, right, so I was in one. Iceland and Germany. Anyways, but that, that that was the first hiccup of the story. The second hiccup was weird. I, 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 my connecting flight was in Seattle. I flew from Reykjavik to Seattle to Phoenix. That was the cheapest flight <laughs> available for me. It's like 14 hours of flying. Anyways, so I land there. Not me. <laughs> Actually, I got to give it credit to Iceland there. I got a whole, I mean, I did get a whole row to myself, so I got to lay down. I bought in flight Wi Fi, so I watched American football. I had a beer and a turkey sandwich. Wait, what? Um, it was probably the easy. Hmm? So, not to interrupt, what are you drinking right now? Well, is it, okay, it's a part <laughs> of this. This is, <laughs> this is Brennevin. It's the Just do it one national time. I liquor hear it one more of time. Iceland. It's only produced in Iceland. It's Icelandic liquor. I brought it back. They don't do you know it? what Brennevin is? Do you have Brennevin? He's going to come back. He's about to school your ass. He's going to come back, and this is Hildefer, <laughs> the second Icelandic liquor. Mm, mm, um, mm, mm, should I mm. put a pause? Hey, a pin water bottle looks story? pretty cool, Ben. <laughs> Wait, is, is yeah, it I've been, only I've been sipping this shit. Like, <laughs> I haven't even alcohol? drank this bitch yet. What's going on, Barn? What's, what's the no it's it's shot? Wow, it's let's go! <laughs> it's this, right? It's this? It took six it's people. Ice, Why is it? Did they fill it with something? Why is no. yours darker? This one is three and a half years in a cask. Zach, they gave you water. That's why you can fly. Regular yeah, like, oh, these are American. I can it's wild that. because <laughs> this is a weird, this is, this is not a regular liquor. This is weird as hell to have. <laughs> Icelandic. My roommate was just in Iceland. Like a weird what does it taste oh, like? shit, that's weird. What, is it, what does it taste like? Um, I mean, I know what Green. this tastes like, but how does it Taste like um, and read the smoke flavor barrel. description it's on the label. Definitely Pe- weird. Yeah, it's Sorry. like licorice, yeah. isn't it? It's like licorice pepper florally. Brisk, kind of. Yeah. But yours is barrel aged, so maybe it's darker. I mean, it is visibly darker, but maybe it, it tastes darker more. than that too. Anyways, this, this is his. But I was just like, I just seen. This. We should try some. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna this in a second. You can pour it out, and if you don't want to put your lips in your roommate's thing, but you should. That's the thing. I don't should, even know should. if uh, I, I will. Like, I will waterfall a little bit of this. Steve, okay, this but, but do you want to do it right now, or do you want me to finish my story first? I want what do you drink, want? Drink, drink. Okay, wait. Drink. So in ice cream, they say, <laughs> I, yeah, I think an important part of this is that we get drunk because if it's, if we, it's we will get drunk. Yes. So in in Iceland, how they say cheers is skull. It's like a skull, 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 skull. Oh wait, shit. I have to go get another beer because mine is completely empty. Oh, no, Sean. Come on, Sean. <laughs> How do we like it? How do we like the burn of it? a little taste of that. It is good, but I took a lot of that. That was more than a shot. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely high proof. and <laughs> It's no? kind of licorice but it's got a... Adjectives. Fl- Let's hear it. Licorice, licorice, is it like woody? almost like because it's from the cask. Cotton yeah, candy. It tastes like the cask. Like you get that kind of like a uh, whiskey in a cask. You get that kind of flavor from it. 
I haven't talked about my vanilla. second hiccup yet. I have two hiccups. Oh, you got two hiccups. <laughs> so, this, okay. The second one, I land back in Seattle. So I'm in Washington. Seattle. Washington. Washington. Yeah. Um, you have to like re go through customs when you enter the United States because they're so much of a you know what about <laughs> foreigners entering their country. Yeah. But even as an American citizen, you still have to go through the thing like, why are you here? Where have you been? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Brennan. Anyways, Brennan. so <clears throat> they have to like recheck my bags again. Like you don't just get to move your bags from one flight to another flight. You have to essentially re go through TSA on your connecting flight once it comes from out, out of the country. I've never taken that amount of liquid on a plane with me ever, let alone alcohol and knowing oh. I have a and knowing I have the lighter on board. <laughs> and so I I tell them that like Hey, I bought like this bottle of liquor. You just abroad. ragged yourself. You just... And well, because they're gonna see it in it, because I, I see what they're doing. They're looking at everyone's thing. I was like, I can do that, right? Like I have a note from the Icelandic government Put my saying I can do it. It's got a stand. You know what I mean? <laughs> my medicinal <laughs> handles so, of liquor. <laughs> and so the original lady is like, Yeah, that's fine. You know, it, it's like she was seemed a bit confused about it at first, but once I explained it more in depth, she was like, Yeah, I think that's fine. So we go move through, it goes to the scanning machine, and of course, my bag flagged. It moves over mm-hmm. to the other thing where they need to check it. And, um, it what? and you know how they have like the two lines, like if your bag gets flagged as having an issue, they'll like move it over to the side and it has to get inspected. Yeah. Have you no, never I'm taken an airplane before? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm white. I don't understand <laughs> the, the problem. Um, I mean, yeah, they stopped. Th- they thought I was a uh, white with ads, like they needed to double check me. Mm. Um, Sometimes you get that, you know. Yeah, because I was traveling abroad. Anyways, so the lady is like looking at it, and she's like, "You can't do this." And I was like, "You can't bring this much liquor on a plane." And I was like, "The lady, I thought I th- I did the th- the lady." told me i could and so there's like the manager that gets called in there and in my mind i'm like oh my fuck am i You're am an I international get... terrorist <laughs> yeah, I was like, so this, yeah pretty much carry on um or it was yes, a check this was oh. this was just carry they still needed to have it go through the tsa thing now because if you send it with your checked bag i think it would have been okay I, c- I couldn't do that though because you have to buy it at the airport past checking your bag is where Uh-oh. you have to buy the, the liquor. But Even that's then, crazy that they do. That. that has to be legal then, right? Because, like, they sell it. <laughs> they just, that, that's the only oh, way people are it. It's made with place. fennel seeds, so that's why it tastes like that. Yeah, it's like a tax and duty-free. Like, after once you're past yeah. the gate, right, you can just buy shit. Like, Actually, yeah. Speaking of <laughs> tax and duty-free. <laughs> no, that, no that's and, what the stores are called, right? Speaking of tax and duty free, this is a bit of a side note. Iceland has this weird law where you don't pay taxes if you're not a citizen. So... Every purchase you make in Iceland, if you save the receipt for it and you go back to the airport, as long as you're not a citizen, you can get all of your taxes refunded. Like all of your sales taxes That's for based, everything you purchase. Taxation without representation. That I mean, I think it's a tourism thing, but I'm gonna pretend like that's true. That's um <laughs> sure. I'm tired of rambling about Iceland. Either way. They're checking all this stuff. There's a big, long discussion. Yeah, I have that thought. I, am I not going to be able to go home and go to work tomorrow because I'm now an international terrorist? Yeah. Um, and so uh, after a we lengthy also discussion. Found this lighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up with this? What is, what's the lighter? After, <laughs> wait, wait, are you afraid about the lighter on flights? Well, well it, yeah, was a, it was a lighter combined with a thing of alcohol, both of which I don't think they would let me bring on an American flight. Right? You, you can't bring lighters. On a plane, you can bring lighters. On carry on, I I don't know. I I I've gone up to a TSA agent and been like, "Can I bring this lighter?" And they've been like, "Sure, cool." Um, <laughs> that one, that, that I mean, is, he walked up to a random guy that was just like, "Oh, sure, yeah, go no, for it." Yeah. <laughs> no, he was a guy. <laughs> He's like a homeless dude just hanging out of the airport asking for change. It was in Colorado, um, so I mean, I don't know how that's different. A satanic period. airport, yeah, crazy one. Yeah. Um, Devil's lettuce. To finish the story, though, because we're almost we're, there. we're we're almost done with my bullshit. Um, they after a lengthy discussion. Thank God, turn, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. I don't, I'm pointing. After a lengthy discussion, they go, "Okay, I, I guess this is like international law or something." But because we find this ultra suspicious, we're going to drug test you and bomb test you. 
And so, <laughs> well, wait, how did you get right. bomb tested? Did they just like? Oh, they like, open your bag and they like <laughs> cut in it and they put uh, um, a swab in. And for the drug test, they put it. Uh, they put it in a solution that turns blue if it tests positive for drugs. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the um, bomb test is, but essentially, uh, what did I put it? Okay, this so- bottle of Brevin cost me my bag getting cut open and drug tested and bomb tested in the Seattle Tacoma whatever it is airport. And after um, after drinking it, was it worth it? For this story, for this show, <laughs> I'd, I'd I'd do a lot more things for for content. I, I, Actually, be a I feel like it's <laughs> wild. Like like I don't. I brought I I brought home a uh, like two handles of uh, rum from the Dominican Republic. You should not be speaking on this podcast before you get flagged <laughs> before, before they stop you from traveling. Yeah, I, I once bought, brought I just put, the weed across. They checked, the- <laughs> they, checked it, they checked it and they were like, this is alcohol. And I was like, yeah. And like, you paid for it. And I was like, yeah. And they were Did like, you have a little bag they put it in with a seal. No, it was on like my checked luggage. I like maybe if it's it- checked, it's different. Cause I, this was all on carry on, but they made me get this like that little sealed adds- bag. A, s- a level of sus to it is they're just like why are you bringing this like with you yeah um can we address just afraid that like this is this is a very mild story and i was afraid of getting flagged on on this podcast <laughs> well so when you say it's drowned in a solution and it turns a certain color like is that the whole like bag a- or it's like they take a sample no and they- no they literally cut us into the side of your bag and put a swab in it to make sure that you're not like carrying drugs could you just be like like, you're allowed to open my bag (laughs) no they have to cut they have to cut into it yeah because they're they're afraid that you're hiding drugs within the shell and the casing they swabbed other parts of the bag too but they need to make an incision on your luggage to test if you're smuggling drugs in the lining of exactly. your bag, which is apparently a very popular. Yeah, that's when you, you, te- you, you ask them if they're chemists, and when they say no, you say, I'm a chemist, and I know that that test is easy to pass, and then they'll believe you, and they'll let you move on. They're going to tear apart your bag <laughs> if you exactly. say I'm that. I'm curious if for like <laughs> one second. I, I'm, what? Curious, I'm curious if for one second you like genuinely had a thought that like, shit, do I have a fucking bomb in my backpack? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not my bag, I swear. <laughs> yeah, Whoa, oh, like, Ben's getting fucking <laughs> Or like if, if you had here. like any type of like, you know, crazy, uh, you know, substance, for instance. I don't know if you had something on there. I mean, that no. fear is definitely there whenever I go through TSA. Yeah. I'm just like I'm, walk, standing in line, especially if there's a line. And like, I'm, dude, I 100%. Here. I, I remember I went on, like, I was checking the CSA. I was super stoned going from Nevada, Arizona, I think. I think it was from Arizona to New Jersey. And 100%, I was stoned as fuck. And I was, like, standing in line. And something happened to, like, the per- like the third person in front of me. They were like, let me, like, actually see your passport and, like, all the crazy shit. And I, I don't have a passport that's, like, actually, like, legitimate right now. It's, like, out of date. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I like started, I started freaking out and I'm like, I'm like, Oh, what if they like stop me? And I'm like really stoned. They like, don't let me go through because I'm like high. And I'm like, I started freaking out and, uh, but no, everything was good. And that story sucked. But yeah. What are they, what are they, I'm just interested. What are they drug test you for at an airport? No, they, I don't think it's a general drug test. I think it's like for narcotics and shit. Obviously if it's weed, they would smell it or see that it's weed. They swabbed your hands, right? Oh, I fucked this up. Um, not my hands, the right, everything in my bag. Look at this. Look at this, dude. I that's fucked the right this way. up. Oh, yeah, oh, what the fuck that is shit looks that? like milk, bro. What you fucked that, that up. A little Come bit on, ahead. Take a take I'm gonna, a hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get another. <laughs> um, Grab two shots. Oh, yeah, I hate to say. You know what? I will. But they're 8%, so I, that's what I got. Oh, wait. Careful. Do you, do you oh, have anything lighter? Fucked up. Get the, he got the Bernie sweatshirt on too. That's crazy. Let's go. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, hold on, dude. Uh, someone, someone's at my door. <gasps> Is it uh, on, Wait, can we address really quick why Sean has a ghost on, recon uh, outfit on? Wow, someone's on my at my door. <laughs> All right, he did it. The- he did it. This is an episode five meme, and he did it again. He said something. Someone's at my door. Thinks he plays a sound and actually does not play a sound. Uh, hold on, someone's at my door, dude. <laughs> uh, fuck, I love that guy. I love that guy. 
He's trying. So what? He's so on his whiteboard. So just to just to, to recap, I I don't think we all like said in uh, in 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 what are we drinking, Barney? What are you drinking? No, nah, I'm glad. I'm oh, glad this is right uh, now. I've got Bud Light. Nice. I've been I've been putting out Sis a couple of fireballs since we have Fiery. stopped. Did you guys think I died? Yeah. Well, no, yeah, your sound, sound didn't play because you're fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, my sound didn't play. No. <laughs> no. So very Why white trash. Why is it not trash. playing through my microphone? Very white trash. I do. I what, honestly. What are you drinking, Ben? What are you drinking? So I'm, dude. I'm just having. I'm just having diet coke and vodka. I really actually like. Apparently, this is like ba- a bad, a bad uh, combination. I really like it. Uh, no, right. no, not not this. Uh, diet coke and like Jack Fire or like Fireball. I think it tastes fucking phenomenal. And I guess that's just not. It's just a weird combination. Don't know. Not sure. Cinnamon, cinnamon. No, it makes sense. Know. Jack and uh, Coke's like a like. What, what kind of vodka are you drinking? I don't. What Tito's, do I think. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you no, have I, 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 I'd, I'd have to restart Windows or... Audio. No, no, Wait, I don't. I, don't, I, don't I have no idea. It's, it's my dad's. I have no clue. <laughs> it just says vodka on it. That's yeah, it. it says it just says <laughs> vodka yeah. and, and marker on it. Brian, what are you vodka drinking? Trademark. It's just a jug I with three X's and says Ben, don't drink. It's a milk chug. I got the baby kittens and the Narragansett. It's a classic. It's an Let's age go. old classic. Age old uh, classic. Those are two very good beers. So the baby kittens on, is like, an IPA. A cougar behind you. Watch out. <gasps> the baby kittens is a typical IPA, but it's from a local brewery here in. Ben, let's get the zoom in on that cat real quick. Is a lemonade yeah, beer. beer. It's a it's a shandy. So so it's a mixture of lemonade oh, no. and beer. It's pretty good. That sounds delicious. Lemon beer sounds kind of gnarly. They do that not it to keep bringing up like Europe lemonade. trip. It's, it's lemonade Dell's flavor. lemonade too. Dell's is like Dell's is the shit. The shit I know about Dell's. Around with. Yeah. I heard yeah. I heard there's like a peanut so. butter peanut butter. That's taste. Ben's favorite. Yeah, peanut it's, butter whiskey. That's a fucking awesome. Oh, screwball. Screwball. Fucking All right, I was, I was that's gonna what get I'm that. drinking. Next for me, Zach in the line, but I don't even know what... This <laughs> oh, I, I said this earlier. I, I took a shot of Brennavin, and then this Wait, is... Zach, let's get the story one more time. <laughs> okay, so I took Run this back, trip... Run it back. Wait, what, what was that? Where'd you get that? <laughs> oh, I took. I was in Iceland, and I actually have two <laughs> hiccups. It actually gave me two two hiccups. Um, but no, this is. Uh, it's called Crispy Lager, Crispy Lager, and it's from a brewery in Tempe, Arizona, called The Shop. And I like other West Coast beers too, but this one I discovered recently, uh, and uh, I bought some because I liked it. I could list nice. other local breweries I like, but. Oh, my camera's not fucking <laughs> flipped horizontally. Why are you guys not tell me my camera's not flipped horizontally? It has to be flipped. You act like I give a fuck about anything about your You're life You're triggering ever. me. I just opened up my email okay. by accident. You guys are pissing me off. Take a, take a shot Damn at Ben. Bro, take a Damn shot at Ben's bro. ugly. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take a shot Skull. shortly after you said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... Oh, your your thought really quick on lemonade and uh, beer, though. Not to continuously bring up my Europe trip, but that's a very popular thing in Germany. Is it's um, they do Berliner Weisses, which is like half beer, half lemonade, or half beer, half like fruit juice. Well, that's um, I had the like whole a raspberry story on uh, uh, this whole Pearl Dell's Pearl? thing. It's it's like uh, his grandson, whatever, during the winter of eighteen forty in. Yeah, I don't know. He he brought it from Europe. It was it was definitely like a European. Yeah, yeah. Del, Dell's is great though. When I lived in Massachusetts, and every time I go back, there's a Dell's shop there. They sell like the frozen lemonade. Little, and shit. Oh, where, and where, 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 where? Um, there's a Dell's shop where my grandparents live in Cohasset, Massachusetts. Yeah, give us the address. Where's the oh, address of your grandparents' house? I want your grandparents. Cohasset's yeah, a though. small town. I've mentioned them before. I've actually mentioned them when there was a murder in their neighborhood, and you were guys were concerned I was giving up too much information. So. Yeah, that, that okay. was specifically well, more specifically me, but yeah, let's I keep then, it private. And then I and then I doxed his entire family in, in uh and sent a bomb. Yeah, I should cut that, shouldn't I? Nova Kids brood right here. Oh, yeah. in if, if I oh, ever if I Nova ever go King, back, you huh? should drive out and pick me up for a night. It's it's eight point it's eight point uh five percent comfortably numbing is what it says. Oh, is it a oh, uh, IP a double IPA or what yeah. is it? D I P A, dry hop. The double dipper. IPA. Yep. In, Dry in, hop, and then it says something like Chinook Columbus. I don't know what you that means. You cannot say that anymore. 
Yeah, that I sounds know. like a bad thing to say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know doesn't why. it sound pretty racist? Yeah, it sounds, it sounds <laughs> fucked up. Hey, can we can we finally address the fucking ghost recon soldier in the room? Mm. Excuse me. You've seen the uh, come town. Um, oh yeah, what? <laughs> you've seen the come town N words uh, N word sniper bit that they did? No, I no, do what? watch them sometimes, but I don't know what bit you're talking about. Okay, well, let's, we don't have to bring it up here. Sean's live streaming <laughs> what is on his uh, personal Twitch. Right what now, is happening? His forehead. Well, I wanted to. <laughs> what? Are we you getting a video feed for him so to so put in? Or... Yeah, he's live streaming. Wait, are you live streaming, Sean? His forehead cam. Sean, can you can you record like a ten second bit for right now that I can put in the video over this? What do you want the bit to be? Bro, well, I thought this was I edited. Should, I mean, I wasn't going to do TV. anything crazy, but I would like to know if it was live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Eric said he was going to come in and say crazy. the n word just to see what you guys <laughs> <laughs> how well, you would react. Well, I thought this is a uh, an edited podcast yeah. here that we were doing. We are not live. We're not live. We're not live. Tristan, what are you? I, I saw you hitting a hitting a hitting oh, the pissy I'm tree. I'm smoking on my you boy. Know, I'm I'm hitting on some uh, some Maui Waui Blue Dream. Uh, you know, some I don't need some. It's I actually got even know. Fucking, even it's know. something. I'm about to dox myself. I got whatever that is. It has your address on there? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it shipped up straight from the OG factory. <laughs> so, oh it's actually called. This is called Insane OG. I've never tried it. Smells like take that on airplanes ass. with you. Uh, yeah, probably, and no one would care because I'm a fucking boss like that. Base, uh, <laughs> I like your new look, Tristan. You look like uh, I don't like mean tired. this as an insult at all, but you look like the world's funnest dad. <laughs> no, you know, you know, Tristan looks like he was he stood in front of a fan for a long ass time, and his hair is all yeah. fucking <laughs> flying back. I, I, I love it. I woke up like this. <laughs> it's great. I just, you know, I took Tristan, a shower last night. I, I've never met you before. Can I uh, take a guess about you? You own at least three Hawaiian shirts. That, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. I only have two. I have well, one. All right, I'm that was pretty close. Gonna, that was pretty Hawaiian close. This is a good one. I love I Hawaiian shirts. I kind of shirts. am already wearing a Hawaiian yeah, Zach, shirt. Zach's like, got one. Yeah. I got, I'm getting that vibe. I'm getting that vibe. They're just oh, like yeah. breezy and like Jersey for some reason. Yesterday it was like 70 fucking five degrees. Like it was so warm yesterday. And it's just like it feels good to be in a little breezy thing. Dude, but. the the weather in Arizona is so bipolar. Yesterday was it either yesterday or the other day. The low was like thirty five, like at night, like it was like almost to the point of being yeah. freezing. But this Monday, it's going to hit one hundred degrees. Yeah, next week it's going to be eighty in Connecticut, which is crazy. That's yeah. That's everyone's like, oh, I love the warm winter, and then summer's <laughs> what are you gonna supposed come and we're to be? be like, Sean, what are you supposed to me. be? What is this character? Hawaiian shirt, GoPro head, sniper guy. Yeah, it's dinosaurs, oh. dude. dude. Oh, Do you know? Can we please? Oh, can we please badass. get Sean like a? Can we please like, get Sean in like a haunted house paranormal oh TV show and just like have him host oh, yeah. it? Oh yeah, that'd, that'd be, be great. An amazing it. bit. Do you guys? Could, go ahead. I was just gonna say he's, he looks like a dumbass, but I mean that I, I don't have to say that. People know. Go ahead. Do you guys know? Do I wear a shirt that says my name's Ben? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> god, fucking oh, bitch, dude. Uh, What's the matter, Zach? Go ahead, little eyes. Do you guys know? And then I'm gonna. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Do you guys know um, who surveillance cameraman is? Probably like a dude at like every parking garage. He like was this weird YouTuber. He was this weird YouTuber like a few years ago who now like everything is like deleted from his channel. He's now known for he's not now known as like he's now known as like an internet lore type character. But he would make these videos where he would on his phone just go to random people in public and shove his phone in their his phone in their face mm -hmm. and just start recording them. And when they would Classic. accost him or try to fight him, he just wouldn't say anything. It would be like 10 minute videos oh. of him holding a phone up to a stranger's face as they would get like angry with him. <laughs> and yes. he just wouldn't respond to any I didn't any know that was comments. his name. I didn't know that was his name, but I do know what you're exactly what you're talking yeah, about. He yeah, he got like exactly what you're perma banned from YouTube because yeah. it's very <laughs> creepy content. Yeah. That's, that's horrible. What do you think my shirt is right that's now? Just what color is that to you? That is, just, yeah, that is literally just harassment. That? Why would you do that? Well, uh, supposedly, if you look at his earliest videos, he kind of referenced it being a commentary on like, like how you're character. always being surveilled by something. But it was very vague. You're whatever. Only upset about it when uh, a person 
does it? Yeah. But like they were very vague comments and never truly elaborated on. So you can make an argument for either that was his point or you can make a very strong argument that he was just a jerk trying to make content. Either oh, way, I, I like Sean's little GoPro more. camera. Yeah. You're dark, Ben. That's better. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure what out a good like color. Guys. What? What color does this shirt look like to you guys? Orange. I'm trying to fix the it is not orange. It's like salmon color. I'm trying to fix my camera. Are you wait actually? Yeah, it is this is actually a pink shirt. Oh and Sean's I don't realizing that's, right now. You might have some food ready. I'll be right back. That's orange. I think the he's, limitations I, of technology. I'm gonna water. <laughs> I think he's learning right now that he is colorblind. And I'm sorry to tell you, bud, but that shirt is wait, orange. Holy shit. No, but like, I'm like, oh, I'll just take a selfie. And I'm like, wait, it does look orange. <laughs> it does look orange. <laughs> it I, think it, I think it's literally orange, Sean. It, stop. You're gaslighting me. I'm not, I, sw- I swear on everything, I'm not gaslighting you. I, bro, I, I, I do never gaslight you, you ever in my entire life. Never my entire life. life. Thank you. Bro, your accent, the last episode, uh, I, 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 Tristan, I mean, it went yes. so hard. It went so hard. Because you change it terrible. every single time. And I, and I was look, okay, look in, ge- look in I was general watching. chat. Look in general chat right now. That's literally my shirt. That's the color. General of my Chan? It's like general red, Chan? I guess. General Chan? I'm just trying to fix the color of my camera. It just looks weird. Um, what I think you should now? just like grab that camera, unplug it, maybe just throw it away, and then buy a new camera. Wait, yeah, the face cam pros, dude. Next podcast. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, was telling, I was telling him about how you fucking gypped me out of a fucking camera. Yeah, dude, gypped, like, you oh, can't say anymore. Way. Um, by the way, but uh, <laughs> I'm, ben, I, 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 was tell- I was telling Zach, I'm like, you two, there's a high demand. Y'all should fucking upsell it for like 500 bucks. Fucking get some. Oh, and then bucks just like cash. wait, and then yeah, I mean yeah, totally. Uh, that you could you could resell we, that shit. Real Zach quick. thought it was a bug when he sent me the link. He thought it was a bug. He's like, I I don't know if this is right, but like these. So next next podcast, I should have a better camera. I think with this camera, honestly, looks all right enough. But it was like a two hundred dollar camera. I just bought a three hundred dollar camera. Whoa! But Dude, um, that's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. Can I, I get your two hundred dollar camera? What? Can I get your two hundred dollar camera? I was thinking about who I was gonna give it to. I could give it to you <laughs> if you want it. I mean, I don't actually. I mean, I would take it, but now I feel weird <laughs> having been. Like, <laughs> Why are you begging me for like my GoPro camera? <laughs> camera? <laughs> just immediately being like, wait, hey, can, can you? That? Can you use your GoPro as a camera? Oh yeah, I mean I could, but it only lasts an hour unplugged, hour and a half unplugged. But it was and my S- no, I'm saying, sorry. Used it. I, I mean as a webcam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it says my SD card is slow, and I don't know what that means. But I don't know what that means either. I have no idea. What, what? says your SD card is slow? The, the, the GoPro? GoPro. The GoPro says change SD card is slow. <laughs> oh, now it's beeping. Yeah. It? <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off though because what, what? it's getting hot. What did he? It was on. It's getting hot. He was streaming from that. Yeah, it's actually warm. It's actually. Was well, really he streaming warm. from that? He wasn't yeah, actually streaming. Not, I made that up. I made, I made that oh. up. I was oh, streaming. Sorry, oh my I, Lord, I gaslight a lot. I gaslight a lot. <laughs> no, I gaslight a lot. I'm sorry. That's one of my Wait, like. Justin, that'll get you. Oh my God, do you no. see that? Believe yeah. me, now that you <laughs> now that you let me know that. <laughs> it's okay. So like. My brother when is I, the ultimate gaslighter. I do uh, not yeah. believe. I end up not believing <laughs> anything. Okay. I don't so, want you. I don't so want now you to that I that know I'm, that. No, listen. Let me. Let me. Let me argue. <laughs> let me give you my point of view. I, I'm just saying. Am, I'm highly sensitive to it. So now okay, I'm going to be like I won't get, on edge. But no, my, no. I think it's funny. It's it's just. I, it's okay. If you think it's funny, it's great because I'm not funny, and that's my only <laughs> way of being a funny person. It's just like lying at. Uh, you know, Kristen, uh, random Kristen, shit. You so have, that's kind of what happens. You have no idea how much I relate to that. I I think I'm. I've told Ben. <laughs> Me this too. Time. I've told a couple of people this story, but I like my whole bit at work <laughs> is to just lie to people and watch them yeah. try and figure out if I'm lying to them. And yeah, the, la- the last the last job I had, we were all at a brewery. There was something like fifteen of us at a brewery, and this girl, this woman, Steph, that I, I was pretty close with. You know, we were good like friends at at work or whatever. And we were talking friends with our, with, and, and then you stop for a second there, but we we <laughs> we were talking with a mutual uh, co you know coworker, mutual friend Angelo, and Angelo did not talk to Steph at all. And I had previously spun off the highway, and we were talking this, about there's so many levels to the story. I'm like, <laughs> the Lord. So, so I'm at the brewery, and we're talking about me having spun off the 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 highway, and Steph was sort of like looking at me, kind of like laughing. And Angelo was like, yeah, I told him he needs to get better tires. And I said, well, you know who knows a lot about tires? 
Steph da- Steph's dad owns Goodyear. And Angelo, <laughs> Angelo was like, what the fuck? And he's like staring at me and he looks at Steph and he's like, Steph, is that true? And then Steph goes, um, my dad does own a tire shop. And I'm like, okay, I, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I, was, I was lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I was like, I don't know anything about Steph's dad. I, I, don't, I don't cyber stalk Steph. We're all good. <laughs> oh, those are my favorite. I used to um, – when when I was in college, my very first girlfriend would like introduce me to people, and like there would always be the most generic icebreaker in college is like, "Oh, what are you majoring in?" And my whole I got so tired of like meeting random fuck all people that I was never going to have a connection with, right? And I was so fucking tired of getting asked that question. I would just lie to people, and I would just improv these like random stories and see how far along I could get with it. Uh, she'd be pissed at me, but um. Like, I don't know, people are like, what are you majoring in? And I would just say, like, English or something and then mm. make up, like, yeah. a random story about how right. into, like, like poetry or something that I am. Yeah, or yeah, I, I would just, I would just, treat I would just pick a random major. I'd be like, oh, computer yeah, yeah. science, you know, and I would just make shit up. Dude. I would <laughs> gaslighting the fuck out of people. I, it's so fun. It's <laughs> We're so toxic. Accurate. No. Uh, uh, how do you, how did you guys, that just made me think, <laughs> I have, I, I, Sean, what is it called when you think in uh, in like in, in bursts? When it when uh, uh, word association autism autism that's Brain what it's called. Um, <laughs> how did you guys like school? I'll, I'll drink to that. <laughs> well, cheers to autism <laughs> inclusion. It is uh, Autism Awareness Month, I think. So. Ben, can I can I pitch to this group of people the show idea I pitched you this morning? I had a question. Yeah. Okay. 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 Shut okay. up. Okay. Let Zach talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let him cook. All right. I just wanted to know how you guys liked school. I fucking hated it. Every I second. hated okay. school. I, I hated fucking school. wanted to kill myself I, I, every day. I, I, tell you, I, I tell you exactly what I told my parents. I loved being in school, <laughs> but I fucking hated school. Yeah. yeah. I loved I loved just walking into the halls and be like, Mr. Be like Sean, how's it going? And I would just like start screaming or something. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if someone had moved around, though. Like even towards the later parts of it, there was yeah. like it, the, the fun got sucked out of it. Where it's like all my friends got taken away. Yeah. I hate being That's here. The, yeah. Like I don't. So you're talking about like primary school. Not I hated school. all of it. I hated every second of yeah, it. I, I had no it. interest in school. I, We'd be in the fucking lunchroom, and Ben was shouting like platypussy. Yeah, <laughs> and was... the security guard was like, "Stop!" <laughs> <laughs> he I was would like, scream platypussy. I would, yeah, I was trying to like like talk taco and stuff, and I'd scream platypussy, and that was funny because All I was he's gonna hear is pussy, dude. <laughs> it was a, so I, I I was screaming platypussy, platypussy, platypussy because it was like everybody was talking, so I was just screaming it, and then security yeah. guard came up to us. <laughs> and I didn't see, I didn't notice this. I just hit the mic. I didn't notice this, but um, she the the security go go says to Andy, friend a friend of the show, sort of. To be Andy, I didn't I even know the show exists. I'm half the show. I don't even know fucking uh, Andy. Um, Love so, Andy. So Andy, uh, uh, hears this, but she's like, she's like, stop. But I'm like, I don't hear this, so I'm still screaming, platypussy, platypussy, platypussy. <laughs> and then Andy keeps like trying to get my attention, and I scream, Andy, I will fuck you in the ass. I scream it at him, and she goes, what? <laughs> So fucking funny, dude. It was so funny. It was so funny. Sorry, Ben. Uh, I missed that. Who are you fucking in the ass? I was fucking Andy. Andy? Andy. 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 I screamed Andy. out, fuck Andy in the ass. Gamer. And I yelled at by the security guard at my I school. I remember him. I yeah. gave him a big ass dab one time. Yeah, See, dude. Yeah, yeah. Andrew, Andrew was, a, Andrew was a, a funny guy because he went, like, in the blink of an eye, went from the most, like, straight edge kid that I knew. Like, I smoked more than him, and I smoked like three times in high school. And then I came home one day, and he goes, "Yeah, I I only dab because weed doesn't do anything to me anymore." And I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and Andy is great. I miss Andy. If you oh, need to, if you need to be an adult, dabbing is a it's like hard. Like, is it? I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. Yeah, I can't. That amount of THC in one day. No, yeah, but and that's all. I get home from a day, and I like take like a couple bowl hits. I'm like. I knew a guy when I worked. Oh, I worked solid. at Jer- when I, I worked at my previous anymore. job. I knew a guy who smoked. Weed. I used to smoke weed with this guy Montel, and I'm smoking weed. I'm smoking weed with this guy in his backyard, and I I'm hit. I'm hitting the blunt, 
And all of a sudden, I start gagging. Like, I just, like, choking violently. And I was like, what the fuck was that? It's like something like... fentanyl cigarette. And I'm like, I feel like I was like, there were, like, knives in my throat. And he goes, oh, yeah, I put, like, dabs across the, you know, mixed in with the weed. And I was like, don't fucking do that. I mean, that shit's fun. I mean... I was was so mad. It hit me like... It hit, like... What do they call it? Like shards of glass in my throat. I was like, "Don't fucking do that." There's, this a, wait, there's a name shit, for that, man. isn't there? It's when you light that. When you light the actual dab, it, uh, what is it called, Barney? You told me the name. It's like snappers or something like that. What is it called? Shatter. Shatter. Snappers. I don't know if that's related. I, I actually, you unlocked a core memory of mine. The, the very first time I, I ever smoked the devil's lettuce, there was a um, a whole lot of stuff leading up to it. But I didn't. I really. I, barely knew these people and we were out in the middle of the desert they had this spot they had to like hike to and everything and they were just passing me stuff passing me stuff passing me stuff i have no like basis for what is normal and what is not and um i remember them saying like oh yeah this one has like moon rocks and stuff like that and it and like in my mind i'm just like that's what people do and i keep smoking it my, my, my whole life i'm like i've never been high like that before like it was always like different from that very first time but looking back on it i think they were just giving me shit i couldn't handle even as a fucking adult At the gate, you yeah. know i think they were just giving me crazy yeah. shit yeah. what what the first time i smoked weed with Haley, neither it was in high school and neither of us I had smoked weed once. Oh, before. are you guys high school sweethearts? Yeah, yeah. So we. <laughs> just, just yeah, yeah, get out, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, we, 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 um, we. I had smoked weed once before, and I had gotten high. So I was like, "Oh, okay, I'll smoke weed with Haley." So we, we go to this. There's this. I live in a dirt poor neighborhood, but right next to my neighborhood is like super rich, like four floor houses. You now, live in Venezuela. I, yeah, basically, you see. You like ten feet. Like you take two streets down, and it's like this super wealthy neighborhood. And I live in the all, Modern Warfare Two map favela. Yeah, <laughs> all of the all of the poor East Hartford kids would go through this cul-de-sac. You'd walk. And it's not a cul-de-sac. It was like whatever. It's like a community. It's not gated, but it a neighborhood. No, I don't. I'll sh- I'll show you what I mean on Google Maps. It's, it's like, like a closed neighborhood. Yeah, it literally is like a, it's like Squidward's Village or whatever. It literally looks a like a gated that. community. But it's not condos. But anyway, there's this one house. There, there's, there's this one house, race, right? There's this one house that you walk past into their backyard. I swear to God, you walk past their backyard or through their backyard into the woods. And they would let teenagers just walk through their backyard into the woods. And this is where people would smoke weed in East Hartford. And Haley and I went to this woods wooded section. We walked literally through someone's driveway behind their house into the woods. And we start smoking weed. Neither of us get high. I'm thinking like this is this must have been oregano. Like I'm thinking like I would have been so must have been oregano. I'm thinking Could that's my first oregano. thought. Always must have been oregano. That's always my first thought. I didn't get high. At you mean all. when the pizza tastes really good? Must have been oregano. <laughs> where, where did and you Where did you purchase this marijuana from? I bought it from man. I bought it from the guy in. I you, bought from from that's gonna require. you guys all know each other in real life. Keep in mind, yeah. anyone else listening to this has no fucking clue the people you're talking to. I have no clue about. what the fuck is going on. You yeah. pretend like you're talking to Tristan. But, but basically, <laughs> I, I think we have a good enough establishment here where we don't actually know. Like, nobody, <laughs> like, we're, we all keep going, mm-hmm, but like, a lot of times, uh, so <laughs> yes. you bought it. a shop, you bought it from like just some random some dude. Some dude a grade above me was like, "This so is you show no idea about illegal marijuana from a man." Continue your story. Yeah, right. So Haley and I, we smoked this whole like an actual blunt, like backwards, like rolled blunt of what is supposedly backwards. What is supposedly blue dream, and we're sitting there, and I, I, I'm like, I'm not high. Haley's like, I'm, I'm not high. I, I feel perfectly fine. And this old dude is just walking through the way. There's no trail. It's just woods. There's no trail. And he's this old dude walking through the woods. And he goes, you kids up to fun? And we're like, no. And he's like, up to fun. And and I swear to God, he goes, okay. And then he walks away. And we're like, what the hell? You and just I'm said like, yes. Are are you sure we're not high? Because like, we're like, what the, <laughs> what the hell was that? That magical man would have gave you everything you ever wanted. That That's actually, I mean, that actually plays almost perfectly into the bit idea bit idea that Barney had. Barney, who's over here, had. Uh, he let's hear it. I want to hear. It. He he uh, he brought up an idea to me when we were bowling of a good like 
conversation oh, so starter. Boring. And it really, highest I, bowling score right now. I want to hear it. That's Sorry. not. That Sorry wasn't the. What, what is up with this? <laughs> from, I went me? bowling with um, someone last. No, hold on. I, I went bowling with someone. I went bowling with someone last week. It was a good time. Whatever. I bring this up to my coworkers yesterday and two people were like what's your highest bowling score never never have i ever yeah. gone bowling and decided to remember the score yeah i think I like i've never probably. given <laughs> that much of a fuck about bowling ever brian i'm sorry tristan i love you I, I i don't know i brian. don't know the answer between all the times i've been bowling i don't know a single score brian what's your higher score you know your fucking highest score i know you do it's infamous it's fuck. infamous 199. I was there. I was there. I was there for it. I was I, I was on the tenth frame and I literally I was like, I just need eight pins and I clear two hundred. And then nope. I threw and it fucking got seven. It was it was the additional throw after you get yeah. pick yeah. up a spare on the tenth. Yeah. Damn. One ninety five so painful. I'm with <laughs> one ninety five. Okay, then you no, one ninety nine score. I don't know. Fucking, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't Wait, think Tristan, I passed yours is 195. No, I have no idea. <laughs> no I think 100, I'm sure. I was, like just trying to, I was just trying to help for the podcast. Tristan. I, I, <laughs> sorry, Zach. Tristan, sorry. you're fine. I love you. And, you know, no, I, was, feel, I feel bad because I, I, I put bowling. people down to be no, funny. But, like, no, really, okay. I just I I had feel... this same question asked to me this week, and I've never had it asked to me in my entire life. So, my mind, I'm like, you don't like bowling, though? I like bowling. I just don't, like, I'm not, like, keeping score. So, Zach, you want to go bowling? You want to go bowling? I would love to go bowling with you, but guess what? The second we walk out, I don't give a shit what the score was. I just remember if I won or not. No, so it sounds, sounds like a loser to me. Just just like, a loser. You don't know. You don't know who you are. I am. Sounds like <laughs> okay, a loser. At least you know that. You, you watched the Big Lebowski? <laughs> uh, I watched the Big Lebowski a long time ago. I don't remember it enough. I watched right. it at Red Rock. Hmm. I you should add a Red Rock? In Denver, Colorado, oh, no, there's Rock, a Denver, theater. Colorado, oh, theater. I know Red Rock. I know the theater Red Rock, but what does it have to do with the Big Lebowski? I watched you it. Watch- on oh. the 20th anniversary, I was in Red Rock. For my there was party. a bunch of cosplayers. Wow. My 20th That's birth- birthday. That I was fun. there. And I, I do want to go to Red Rock at some point. There's legendary shows that happen there. Did that, legendary. Did that theater just watching a movie. Katie Perry. Crazy. Like, it's like car. How big is the screen? Shit. It's it, that place is huge. If it's like fifteen hundred people in those, like it is. Just Do you know Red Rocks, Tristan? Ample. Yes, I've been there before. Yes. Oh my! I have family who live in Colorado. World travelers here. Yeah, you look like. Oh, it. So you know about um, that shit? Wild. <laughs> Hey, roast me for the house in a couple days. But What's wrong? Look at how big good. my nose is. Come on, see, someone. Exactly. You, you can't. There's, there's guys there in robes. They're they're <laughs> white Russians for uh for their specialty <laughs> drinks. Zach, you can't be that handsome and expect people to roast you. I just don't understand what you mean. You should see how big my belly is, dude. Dude, biggest like belly in the world? Genie. That's yeah. crazy. Small feet as well. Uh, Barney, you what's like- your idea for a conversation starter? Yeah, Hit sorry, it. please. Hit oh, my it. idea? No, Barney. No, Zach, Barney. Okay. <laughs> what? You're going to put all the pressure on me? All, all the pressure in the world. Uh- Barney, I've been I've we been bowling. shut down so many times here. You better have a banger fucking idea, Barney. <laughs> Zach, I really want to hear you with like a Boston accent or something. I had a Boston accent when I was a kid. Let Barney okay, well, we're like- gonna let we're gonna let Barney go first, and then we're just go up to Boston, Boston for like six months and then come back. <laughs> I have held uh, firmly on to not developing my Boston accent. Bast- <laughs> Baston accent, you bastard. All right, what do you got, Barney? Hit me with it. I want to. I. I. Because I, I. I. I'm so interested in what the responses are going to be. You know. What, do you know what I'm talking about? No. I- Dude, do you not know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Are you measuring shit there? Are you measuring? No, it's an automaton. It's an automaton. A necomicone. So, yeah, there okay. was you're going to look back on this, Ben, and you're going to blow your fucking brains out. Okay, we're not okay, even okay. halfway through okay. this shit. Okay, so <laughs> Barney brought up to me, he was like, a great conversation, with, uh, like that we could, stories that we could tell is our worst or first blackout. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, let me I'm get sorry. some pictures. Let me get some pictures. Go on. Keep talking. Do you want me to propose things we're supposed to be doing, right? Oh, well, I, yeah. Or just conversation. Yeah, whatever, whatever you want to do. I am, I am already really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. That's the problem. I, okay, so is right that your worst blackout? Oh, <laughs> yeah. So coordination, not good. 
you feed me back the ideas I told you while I was more sober, yeah. and I'll run off those. Okay, okay. all right. So, uh, Barney, can we can, that, we, can we can we can we get you walking in a line so, real quick just to uh, see where, where we're at right now? You you want me to do what? Alphabet backwards. Can I see you line walk test. in a line? Can you just like walk in a you, line real quick just so we can see all right, where yeah, you're at? For my, for my, I'll go from my stairs to my door, and I'll go. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay, okay. Just one yeah. line, you know, just toes, you know, you got it. All right, his headphones are off. This is where you talk shit. We're just, I don't know, don't talk shit. Holding I just want to. I just want to see where we're at right now. <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, he's done. He's done. He's at like a. He's at like a six. My guy's tall. Yeah. Six or seven. My guy's tall over there. Look at yeah. him hitting the door. Six it is boy, a shorter yeah. basement, though. It, yeah. it, yeah. How tall are you? How tall are you? I'm six well, feet okay. tall. Well, like okay, basement. there you go. Um, that was so, good. You're. What was your so worst? So, so one of my favorite Brian drunk stories. I got one of okay. those. Fun, no. <laughs> Wait, this was one of your drunk stories. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to tell them about it. I, I thought we were supposed to tell them about each other. It, your it was first. your idea. I know your you. First or worst blackout. My yeah, worst, tell Sean's worst. favorite drunk. Oh, your, your worst, worst your or first, worst. Your favorite, whatever you want to do, Barney. Tell, tell a story. A notable, a notable one. For me being blackout. Yeah. Sure. I'll definitely tell one for me. Or black face story. All right, so oh, black, or, uh, black hour, black face. Am I right? <laughs> which, which, you can one. pick one, whichever you feel. Yeah, I've never been blacked out. So fuck. There's <laughs> so many moments I could barely choose. Over black face. I, or I black actually out? don't. I actually don't black out. There was one instance where I can Let safely it, say I was the drunkest in, in my life, but I've never really blacked wait out. Wait to tell that story. Me neither. Tell that story. Okay, wait, but I'm wait. just saying I'm with you, Ben. I've never right. really blacked out. Like, All right, I've so never really had Barney. Barney. What is your right. what is your blackout story? Hit me so with it, please. I'm, so I'm going to a concert. I don't really uh, care about this concert too much. It's something that my ex girlfriend's really into. Uh, uh, so I'm just going there for her, and we're, we're bringing a couple of friends. Being a good boyfriend by getting fucking blackout drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I never said I was a good boyfriend. I, that was, that was never <laughs> story. Uh, at least it takes me a little while. So I buy a uh, a sleeve of nips uh, of a hundred proof uh, Captain Morgan rum. Okay. And what are nips? Nips. Oh, oh is that it? Like, 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 like the little the little. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never yeah, heard those them are like to the fifty proof. Uh... I know what they are. I just have never heard them referred to as. What such. do you call them? We're in Connecticut. Shooters. 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 Nip. Okay, I've never heard yeah. that term. Okay, cool. Other than like at uh, schools. Go ahead. <laughs> if only the school shooter was just a guy who liked to party. <laughs> Life would be much better. Hey, oh, I'm yeah, doing I'm a school tonight. shooting. Uh, uh, <laughs> that would be such a funny <laughs> bit. <laughs> oh my God. Nips. That is um, shooting, demonetized. Okay? That, that would be hilarious. Like a bunch of kids at school gonna are going to do school shooting. <laughs> and just them in the bathroom. I don't know if it's <laughs> called I'm with shooting. Tristan, I'm with Tristan on this. We should film a school shooting. I think I... Put put the whole uh, ten down before I got into the concert. I am fucked up hard, and um, I try to get back into the crowd after I go to the bathroom. And uh, the whole place is it's it's a small center. It's the Oakdale. Uh, probably doesn't mean anything, but 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 it's a small. Who's the show? Who's the artist? Uh, you run into them anyway, so just say it. It's not embarrassing. I, I don't Terror even war. fucking remember because I didn't care. It's like an no Irish way. Do you remember? You gotta remember. It, it was, was um, I almost break? said Shane Dawson, who's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Who the Why did I confuse Ed Sheeran with Shane Dawson for a second? Who's it similar to? It's some Irish shit. Oh, I have no idea. I don't listen to it. The only Irish I know is that. Oh, that's Icelandic. Never mind. Fuck that. Go ahead. <laughs> what Icelandic music do you listen to? No, it's, no, oh, not, York? no, yeah, no the 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 Berenivin or whatever the fuck Durgan it's called. I can tell you all, yeah. But anyway, uh, I cannot get back into this crowd. I am way too drunk, and I ended up uh, exiting. And they didn't really tell me, or I was too drunk to realize that I couldn't get back in. And I tried to get back in a few times, and they were like, "Get the fuck out of here." Um. And I found a guy outside who was equally as mad as me and as drunk as me. And he was like, this is some bullshit. We can't get back in. So I teamed up with him and we we're going to smoke a joint. He's like, y'all, y'all roll a joint. I'll roll a joint. Let's go back to my car. I was like, fuck yeah, let's go on. I was like, 
<laughs> it was, uh, I That's was amazing. Kid. Uh, so we get back to his car and he rolls his joint and I realize I need to like charge my phone or do something. And I'm like, hey, man, hang on to that. I'm going to be right back. And I got out of his car and I walked 10 feet away and I was like, I do not know what car I was just in. <laughs> and I, I got about four other people in this venue who are looking for me. I was like, I'm never going to see that guy again. But he very, uh, he was very nice to me. He uh, he offered me his weed and bless that guy. But really quick, Sean, was, is that I picture was, you? That was dangerous. Me in college, um, blackout, I passed out drunk. Maybe, yes. Cool. Yeah. I got to see these. Dude, but maybe cool. just need to know before Barney. I sent the next message that it's not someone else. Yeah, that was me. Um, uh, I, I guess yeah, Sean, story, why do you Sean? look like a woman? Yeah, because I I I, grew, I, was like, I I need to make sure this is not an underage woman. Before I, I this looks like a this looks like a sixteen year old woman <laughs> that's just laying on the floor. Looks like he's like, taking a booty screenshot. Like I, I periodically like to grow my hair out to donate uh, to this. Wait, club. unironically, unironically, I, I'm growing my hair out now to donate to wigs for kids. That's what I was doing in this picture as well. Okay, so it's very great really quick, point, but this looks like really a quick show. though. I got I got a bone to pick with you. We have to differentiate blacking out and passing out. No, 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 no. This it was blackout. This was after, the after blackout. the blackout. This is yes. This okay. is okay. Because so what happened? Was, okay. So basically, you I so thought, you seem to be resting pretty peacefully. I mean, that's that's. That I, would, I would like to throw in here that <sighs> me, 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 there's me, 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 me. brownout that is experienced very often. Uh, the brownout is very much a thing. Should I just say drunk I, story? You know is what? that like good enough or like? No, 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 no. This is blackout. I, no, no, don't dim, don't change. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. 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 I worked hard. I worked hard. I worked hard to blackout. I worked hard for this. Okay. Actually, but just as a side thing, never fucking blacked out in his life. He needs to find something to be proud of. How can he black out? Haley Haley greened out like a couple months ago, and it was the funniest shit in my like to just watch her. Like she was so hot. She took like um, I have five milligram gummies. She took like two of them, and she was gone. I mean, gone, <laughs> gone. Like I mean, she was like, I think I've slept for the last forty five minutes. I'm like, Haley, it, it's been ten minutes. <laughs> like, but it was, it was, it was okay. But so this like, one, I've been on a journey. Yeah, she literally was like, I was like, I was like a little wow. worried that she took too much, and she's like, I, I just slept for forty five minutes, and I was like. No, you were laughing for ten. I'll tell you, but like, bro, when I first got high, I felt like I was in GTA Five, and like I did the yes. player switch oh, when yeah. you switch from like yeah. one player to the other, and you like oh, like out of body, like out yeah. into the sky. Yeah, I like yeah, analyzed anyway. where I was. So, so this pic, the picture that I sent, Dude, I was having high for like ten I was, years straight. I was having um oh. incredible insomnia from um finals week. This was finals week for oh, that's incredible for chemistry. And uh, it was like, I mean, it was like the the exams were like, oh, what is the quantum mechanic definition of, you know, whatever? And like calculate this with and I like I had to like rip my asshole out trying to study those <laughs> things. But um, so I couldn't sleep. And the doctor was like, well, we can give you the basically the, the therapist. I kept going to this therapist on campus. And I was like, I cannot sleep. I Like I'm stressed out about all these exams. And she's like, oh, we, we can give you a benzodiazepine. And I was like. Uh, I don't really want to get addicted to <laughs> benzo. That's, that's, that's just a benzo, right? That's exactly what that, that is. It's literally what benzo. Yeah. yeah. It, it, and um, I was like, fucking pussy. Benzo. I want to get addicted to benzos. You Come fucking on, pussy. Benzo. Benzo. You don't want to contribute to the. Don't want to be a statistic in the American opioid crisis. <laughs> fucking pussy. Well, yeah. well, actually, okay. So, so the reason is, is because um, the previous year in college, I took uh, half a bar of Xanax oh. and a Klonopin. And I was so fucked up. I was so I was un actual was, drug addict. Actual I was like drug addict. I was barely. I was paralyzed in my bed. So I took a I took a yes. clonopin. I have I was, a follow up story to this, but please finish. Okay, so this is a side story. I took a clonopin and half of a Xanax bar. So I think it was like I don't know whatever that is. And I'm laying in a bed. Clonopin like, and half of a Xanax bar. I cannot move. I literally. I'm thinking to myself, you have to get out of this bed. And then slowly. I, I I can only describe it as like oh like all my thoughts were just fog, and I the thought of like I'm dying, 
just filled my brain. And then I blacked out and I woke up in the morning. Uh, and I was like, I'm never doing benzodiazepines again. I'm never mixing drugs or whatever again. I, I know you're going to get back into your main story, but yeah. I had I have a very similar experience with Xanax that I want to. It'll be a quick story yeah, yeah, as yeah, long yeah. as no one makes me restart it five times. I promise. When I was, again, out in college, I was... Uh, I wanted to try everything. Yeah, that's why. And um, my plug at the time just posted a random story just being like, hey, got Xanax if anyone wants to try some. And I had black tar heroin. (laughs) I had nothing to do for the day, thankfully. And I was like, yeah, I'll try it. I go. He's literally in the same dormitory as I am. So I just go up like two floors or whatever, pick it up, come back down, take it. And like 30 minutes passes, I feel nothing. Like I don't feel, yeah. I yeah, don't yeah. feel intoxicated at all. And so I go, I'm going to go take a shower. Like I'm going to go take a shower and hopefully I have to feel good while I'm taking a shower. It's warm and everything. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll come out and we'll be fine. But, um, yeah, see, the thing about that, uh, first of all, we had communal showers. It was not like a private room I could go into to shower. So cool. You're, someone can come in. You have more fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, you know. So I'm what, what, in. What were you on again? Xanax. It was just a Xanax. That's it. Xanax. Um, so I, I go to the showers and um, this is probably the first like hard drug story I've ever told on here, except for the time I was on mushrooms in uh, Sedona. Right. But um, I, um, I'm i taking a shower, and I, I want to stress this enough. It was not that like I fell asleep. I was taking a shower, and then all of a sudden, I wake up in my bed. Like, that to me, like, I am naked in a communal <laughs> yeah, shower, yeah. and yeah, then yeah. the very next moment, I am laying in my bed. <laughs> and I, it scared the yeah, fuck yeah, out of me. Yeah, I've fucking... never done it again in my life because that was actually the only time I probably blacked out. Not on yeah, Twitter. Everyone's yeah. leaving. I've I'm lost all my too. friends. <laughs> <laughs> what is? No, 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 okay. I'm gonna yeah, leave just, so, you, just for actually, a quick second. Just for, just for a quick yeah. thing. So the reason I was in my bed, I I actually remember the Xanax story. Um, I was having really bad stress, so I took a clonopin, and then I was also talking to this guy. No like, ears. Hey, this, this Stop, guy was dude. like, "You should try half the Xanax. You know, you don't you don't want to get fucked up, but take half the Xanax, and it'll help you calm down." So I took half the Xanax, kind of not even thinking that I just took a clonopin, and I'm like, "I'm just gonna go for a walk and clear my mind." And I fucking I'm walking, and I get to a stop sign, and I'm like, "God, I'm a little tired." So I stopped and like put my hand on the stop sign, and then I blinked, and I I'm like, "I have no idea how long I've been holding the stop sign. I need to get home." And I I get to my dorm and I'm laying in bed and I'm like, I can't move. I, I'm fucked. I can't. And I remember having this thought. My brain was like all fog. It was, I, I imagined it as like a, a, a like a literal whirlpool of thoughts. And then this this um, thought just kept coming back like I'm dying. I'm literally dead. I can't move. And then I wake up in the morning. It's like I, I just I blinked and then I'm, I'm, I'm awake oh, in the morning. Unfortunate. But this doesn't sound fun. Yeah, That's no, just, and I, is I it just self <laughs> nope. or something. It's... Yeah, I don't know. So I woke up and I got out. I literally leapt out of bed and I'm like, I'm never fucking doing that again. I was so mad. I woke up angry because I was like, there's no well, fucking way I'm never tu- I'm ever touching that shit again. In in my story too, I like I had two roommates at the time. Horrible living situation where the school didn't have enough rooms for people, so they took rooms designed for two people in a bunk bed and just stuffed another bed where a desk was. So we had three people living in a like literally the size of my bedroom. Um, <laughs> either way. So I'm asking my roommates, like, did I do anything? Like, did I, cause I, my thing was I was naked when I blacked out and then I woke up in my bed. So in my mind, I was, I was asking them, like, did I <laughs> walk naked back? Yeah, in yeah, yeah. They were like, no, you just came in from the shower, got changed and went to sleep. Thankfully, I'm, unless they're covering for me or something, unless I did something heinous and have no clue, but um, that 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 scared the fuck out of me. Just all of a sudden, just like like there was there was That's no terrifying. like there was terrifying. no like I'm yeah going it's to not sleep, good. I, I'm legitimately tired, fully lucid, fully awake, not feeling tired at all. Wake up! I, I was fucking whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I there was anytime- no fun. There was no fun part of it at all. Yeah, I don't know when people are like, oh, I'm, I'm on Zans or whatever. I don't actually understand what they're doing because I'm like, 
I never had a, I didn't even have a good experience. I didn't have a bad experience. It was just like, you know, you know, you pass out and then you're up. They literally got back at the same yeah, time. That's very weird. I think for people with anxiety, it is a way to go to sleep. I think it is supposed to put people to sleep in some instances. Sure. Okay, so right. my blackout story yeah. involved my um, therapist being like, we can give you benzodiazepines. And I was like, no, no, I'm not fucking doing that. So I went home. So I went home and I was like, I went to my roommate and I'm like, we're going to the liquor store. And he's like, why? And I'm like, because I'm not taking benzodiazepines. And uh, so I bought this like <laughs> a normal bottle of wine. It's like 750 mils. I think this was like a 1.5 uh, liter. And uh, I just, am I muted or what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't act it out? Bradley, come on. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've now finished my second can of beer and I'm like getting shaky. So I think I'm just... Uh, <laughs> so, um, I, I, will, I will hold back on that. I will hold back on that. What? What? Are you about? <laughs> what? what? What's the matter? You finish your second can of beer. My face after two beers. Oh, Sean's lagging, um, dude. I'd <laughs> be like four so, beers. I'm four. Of, I'm four, dude, that's, that's uh, four. A lot. So anyway, um, I uh, I bought this like 1.5 liter bottle of wine, and I I just told my roommate I was like, listen, just make sure I'm breathing. And then I just fucking chugged the whole wine. I chugged the whole like 1.5. Uh, I got you. <laughs> and, go, go. And I black I blacked out almost immediately. Like I I literally like did the you know like the meme or the or the TikTok where the guy like spins the beer bottle and it like just vortexes into his mouth. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I literally I did wait, that. Wait, how do you do that? You gotta spin, spin it. You gotta spin it. You gotta, you gotta, whoa, whoa, you you gotta spin it and stroke it. You gotta spin it and stroke it. All right, <laughs> dude. Gift it just dude. it just fizzes up. Yeah, yeah. You got to be careful with that. But um, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. So uh, so I just. I just blacked out almost immediately. And then my roommate said, I woke up in my bed. So that picture of me sleeping in front of the bathroom is like an intermediary picture. And I woke up in my bed and I went to my roommate and I was like, so like, was I good? Did I like, was I breathing fine? <laughs> was I good? <laughs> like, how did I get to my bed? And he's like, oh yeah, you basically like, you chugged the whole bottle of wine. You watched like 10 minutes of South Park. And then you said, I got to go brush my teeth. And then you passed out in front of the ba- bathroom, and then you went to your bed. You had That's a half sick, a bottle dude. of gin playing Pokemon that one time. I remember because you told me, bro. You I literally I remember because I love to you. Your bed. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, yeah, dude. Yeah. Drugs and alcohol is just fast travel for adults. IRL. I'm, t- I'm telling you, dude. That's why I drive with. That's why I drive drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Help. Oh, you gonna hurt? Um, yeah, the time that uh, that is true. I don't think I technically. What, okay, can we define blackout? Like, does that That's mean what going? I said an hour ago? What do you blackout mean? Is someone. Is yeah, okay. blackout is when you're still conscious. Uh-huh. And but do you remember? Do you remember content. anything? No, no, because, you have a lapse because, in your memory, but you're still okay. awake. You're still okay, awake. Because, and, I want to like, be. I want to be clear. People. I no, was, hold, hold on, hold on. I would like to. Yeah, go on. Interject on that. Blackout. You don't remember anything that happened. You right, have a, okay. a point Past in time. a certain point. That's it. Okay, like so, so a brownout. You remember? Okay, okay. Can we please move on? So before you talk about shitting yourself multiple times on this show, so that's take the one the minute blackout, to you need think to hear about is this else. really what you want to do? If you browned out doing something, you like remember specific events, but you were very shitty. Okay. Then I browned out playing Pokemon. I blacked out drinking wine in college. Wait, does brown out not mean shitting yourself? No. <laughs> no, no, okay, no. That's what I thought you were talking about. Oh, that's this why whole I was confused. Time. I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, shitting yourself? Oh, I thought, <laughs> no, I thought <laughs> throughout twice. this podcast, you were talking about a how you shit out, yourself. A brown out is like, uh, I remember. Wait, wait, wait. wait. When was he talking about shitting and himself? Then here, and then here, but I don't I don't remember the night. I don't remember right, how right, he got right. home. Right. I don't I know what the green out is. I remember a couple parts of the Pokemon battle. And I remember taking my social security card out and showing Mike my social security card. What? But I don't remember. Uh, well, the thing is, Haley was mad at me because I don't remember. I remember. I remember walking to the cat. I don't remember beating. I know I beat Ben like three times in a row. All right, you're gonna say like, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, I guess. So, I, so I, I remember. I remember passing out on the couch, and I remember waking up in my bed. But Haley was like, "Your room, this this space that I have right here." She was like, "It was such a mess." 
you like knocked over your dresser, like things like you had papers all over the floor. You, and I was like, I don't remember any of that. And she was like, yeah, your social security card was just randomly in the corner. <laughs> and when, I, I we was, were fucking when we were watching Obi-Wan. And I opened after, a credit card. We were watching Sorry. the last episode of Obi-Wan think, with yeah, Joe. Okay, so I you know were halfway put, off your chair going like this. Oh yeah, my eye, my left eye. So when I get re- when I get blackout or brownout, I guess as Barney would say, the the parts my- you kind of remember are like brownout. The parts like you one hundred percent like I don't, I have no recollection of this. It's a transition. If somebody yeah. told me uh, this about myself. That's like a. a when I get too drunk, my, my so I have um when, when I have zero autism memory. It's blackout. When, when I was Can born. I- can I hear your bits on what a whiteout is? What's a whiteout? Let me hear your bits. That's when the only Pokemon oh, yeah. dies. <laughs> go back to oh, oh, <laughs> so when there's a lot of when you get released from say, prison because you did work. nothing wrong. <laughs> it's if you can't go to I work because if, 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 if you don't, uh, you can't go to work because uh, uh, there's too much snow. It's whatever Sean said, and then it's if all your Pokemon faint. I was gonna say. Sorry, that was a bad... Cut that. Then. I, I, know, I got you, I got you. Hey, listen, listen. <laughs> cut it out. Am I right? <laughs> so, where you get that from, Sean? Is that a Sean original or is that a reference? Is that an O'Day a, original? You're a, you're a Zoomer, brother. That is full house right there, dude. Cut it out. Am I right? <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the, the white house. Yeah, that was straight up full house. So, did, you, did you upload selfies for the show mid-show? Yeah. That's kind Thank of God. sick. I Thank love that. Yeah. Okay, I, I Ben has been mad. I know he's he's not going to say he was mad at me, but he's been mad at me. I, because actually, ben, go, fuck. go ahead. I know he's going to say he doesn't give a fuck, but for the past three podcast episodes, Ben has been like, Ben has been like, hey, can you can you say, like, he'll text me Saturday. Listen, for next Friday, I need a selfie for the thumbnail. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he'll text me Wednesday, and I'm like, yeah, I didn't forget, brother. I'm just been busy. And he'll text me Friday, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, fuck it. I don't know. I don't remember. So uh, I, I actually, to be honest with you, I'm happy that you think that I'm mad because I'm not. I feel bad badgering you about it more. I feel like it, I don't like adding to people's chore list. No, okay, like so he, we all thing. feel bad about badgering other people, but I'll, no one cares. I'll tell you my my completely honest opinion. Um, <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> Can you uh, lie? Look out! Oh, wait, really quick. I told <laughs> when, when I was talking to uh, Ethan and my friend Ben about this episode, I was trying really hard to get them on here. I don't think they're going to join because there's so many people, but maybe. But uh, <laughs> we were just talking, and it was like I, I, we had talked about this episode of the show for a minute. I tried to get them on here. It was silent for like a minute, and I just said, I'm going to let loose. <laughs> and then that was that was the 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 that let loose. Um, <laughs> talk about being the first black man to hear about the Emancipation Proclamation. Because <laughs> I'm let loose, brother. <laughs> I feel like we need to. <laughs> so was that, was that the end of your was that the end of your blackout story, Sean? <clears throat> With the benzos and all that? Uh, no. So the black. I don't know if the Benzo's Benzo. kind of blackout story because I remember everything up until passing out in my bed and I didn't do anything as far as I know from my bed. But um, the blackout story in college was. I ch- I I really drank wine faster than I've drank anything else. Like I was, oh, 1.5 liters of wine, and I remember watching South Park, and then the rest is history. You know, my friend yeah. was like, "Yeah, you walked up the stairs." You actually, apparently, I crawled up the stairs. I did Great. like a a beast crawl up the stairs. But yeah. um, college is a crazy time. There's there's I I mean I feel like I blacked out several times during college but i was a i was a respectable student i had like a pretty no, good I, 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 I only went, went to college four. once i, I what does that I mean? I took one college? year. I took All right, what were year. your GPAs going around? Alex, you went to trade school, but one. I don't know if you had a standard GPA. Uh, I got myself a Foreman van this week. Um, That's the same thing. All right. I, I had how a much you pay? Five in high school. How much I pay? What do you mean? How much? How much? I did you say? What? Did they you say you just got a van? A van. You got a van. Same thing. All right. We might van, be Sorry, I must Both involve children. All right. Must have misheard. The, the company pays to upkeep it, and they give me gas for it. It's he's actually oh. he actually got a van. That's that wasn't you didn't uh, mishear anything. That was no, actually that's a, not van. a meme. Like it's a van. I, I thought a van. you bought. a It's van. not a meme. It's a van. 
I, like I know you would hear I got a van and think that surely that must be some kind of meme. No, <laughs> it's actually a van. Uh, my GPA was like, a, I think when I graduated, it was like a 2.2 a college. I mean, I never Anybody went else? to college. I had the I, 3.5 in high school. And now you have a van. I had um, I have a van. <laughs> you have a van. I graduated. I graduated high school, failing a couple classes, excelling in a few, and having mid grades in a few. I took one year of college in microbiology, where I got two C's. GPA. Where I got two C's in all (laughs) F's. No, 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 GPA. (laughs) I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What is my what is my what is my bowling score? What is my GPA? No one's asked me that you know until this week. That's I've why applied so for jobs. Unique, baby. I've applied for jobs way above my qualifications, and they've never been like, "What's your GPA?" They just you know, ask you really me questions, don't know your GPA and I'm at all? smart. No, I have no clue. That's crazy. What any of but my I mean, GPA is? Only were. one year of college. Me I mean, I don't. It's probably. Yeah, I don't remember my high school GPA either. I don't, mind, I don't remember my... I can tell you what my grades were. I got two C's in college, and I failed the rest of my classes, and they said either go to community college or get kicked out, and so I was like, fuck it. I'm on my own. <laughs> uh, that's, that, that, that's exact... Uh, 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 is, this mic, is this mic working? Uh, I no. dropped out of community college, so I don't remember. We're all hey, doing Tron, what well was your GPA? Here. It was There's like no nine, right? 2.2? 2.4. 2.4. Brian, yours is like a fucking 3.9. I you gotta you gotta say it, bro. We all know. So it's in funny. high school, it was actually not that great. Like I had super severe senioritis in high school just because I was like, this doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, you know what's so, like, you know what's so funny? The last few months of high school were just like, wow. I you know was yeah. like so useless. It is insane. And like I just want to go to freaking college or do yeah. something else. You know what's so it's funny? Just like, let's just go to this right. English class where we talk about some like <laughs> on my college application I put 3.5 as my my high school GPA was 3.5 and then it was 2 years in where my my mom just like, "Hey, do you still need your high school transcript?" and she sent it to me and it was 3.5 out of 5. But weighted out of the 4.0 scale was 2.5 or something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I lied. I straight up fucking I didn't lie. I, you I just told, got it wrong. I told my boss after I was hired that I lied about my GPA. <laughs> I said I have a three, I said I had a 3.5 on my on my uh, whatever, and it was like 2.2. Yeah. What have you point, ever had to put a GPA on a job application? Oh, in science. No, on a resume. And and science, I mean, it's, a, it's unfortunately uh, common, and I actually say this for an entry level position. I think it's, it's <laughs> somewhat. I've relevant. never, I've never included my GPA on a single job application I've submitted, except for maybe my. I, I worked for State Farm for like a month, and I oh, made that was, my, that was like that was like my first job that was not like fast food. I don't remember. Maybe I put a GPA on that one, but aside from that, I don't like. Yeah, I have my GPA on my resume. It's just and it's a lie. No it's fake. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know right now, as 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 your friend. No one gives a fuck. No, it's true. No, no one, one gives a fuck no, about yeah, your GPA. Yeah, a couple of years passed when you graduated. Maybe Sean. Maybe people useless. care about Sean's GPA. I also care about your GPA, Sean. Mm-hmm. I it, it becomes much heavily. less. It becomes Sean, much I don't give a fuck about your GPA. I'm sorry. I don't Put know what he's GoPro doing. GoPro back on. We need GoPro footage. I think it becomes much more about your portfolio than your than your anything really. Your work experience, point, how you yeah. interview, whether or not you're kind of weird. Um, yeah. And uh, can you guys imagine? Can I say work experience interview and not having a business agent to. Uh, Call you for come job. on, union boy, fucking union boy, <laughs> having a having a business agent, bro. I got I got poached. Yeah, That's how much I'm like. Thing union members like, have business agents. I've never. I, I've seriously never heard of this before. What is a business agent? I have a business agent. So what does that mean? So there's a select amount of uh, companies that will <laughs> hire me uh, through the union, and if I am unemployed, I can just call them. And if anything, if they need somebody to come work, I can just go do it. So it's not a union for a specific company. It's an industry-wide union? Yeah, it's in a select area. And we have um, a select amount of contractors who work it. Do you have to apply for the union in general? Because I feel like that, I've, to me, unions have yeah. always applied to companies. Like so like you have skilled? to. Yes, you have to get into the union and um so they'll take guys in sometimes they have license i was unlicensed i was actually just coming out of high school i'll take selfies too really quick even though i'm interviewing a man about business stuff 
<laughs> so uh, continue. Yeah. I came through the union and uh, I did five years of school and I uh, go out to work for companies now. And also did five years of school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was supposed to be two. <laughs> I'm trying to take a pog face. Can you fucking shut the fuck up, Sean? <laughs> Stop making me unpog when I'm trying to take my pog face photo. Can't oh, make a pog like, face right now. We all want to do a pog face for the for the it's for the thumbnail. Channel? Dude, yeah, six yeah. different pogs for the thumbnail. Everybody, <laughs> pog right now. Ready? Wait. <laughs> You're supposed to, uh, Barney. Really? Take a selfie on your phone. Or take a few. We use we use phone selfies for the thumbnail. You're gonna have That's the best. That was the best you got. <laughs> Sean, I feel I feel like I can get some big uh, objects down that throat. If you ever wanted to test that out, we can do a little. You know what's experiment. crazy is my asshole is also wide. Can I see what? <laughs> what? what? Uh, Brian, I'm bisexual. So I'd love to see. I that. want to talk about Brian for a second, right? Brian but is Brian Adams. What? If well, we're I talking to about, share a blackout story. Right, Brian, that's, that's why I want to. I want to lead into that because Brian. I will say Brian he's gonna have a great Branson. blackout story. Brian is the I, best I, I drunk. I have a couple. I have a couple of those as well. Brian is the best drunk ever. Like he is. Does he, he suck you off? He sucks you off after like thirty-five minutes, and it's great. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And okay. he says yes before he gets drunk, so it's solid, right? When he so, when he whoa, 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 when, whoa, whoa. <laughs> when when you when you nut, but he just keeps podcasting. That's right. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, but no, Brian is the best ah. drunk. He Brian Brian he doesn't get annoying. He doesn't get needy. He just is just funny continuously. So oh, I, nice. I'm so excited to hear a, a drunk story from Brian. I am so fucking excited. All Go right. for it. I don't know if Alex or Ben have heard this before, but I've, I so uh, when I was Rosie. living at or whatever my the college I was I was yeah beep. Uh, where you at? Where you When I was living at college, every time and one of us so the house I was living at was bought by my room or my classmate. Uh, uh, it was a five bedroom house, and it was split pool. between five people. So yeah. it was it was a, like a big ass house with an indoor pool and like a bunch of shit. And we were all paying like eight hundred bucks a month to whatever stay there for the school year, and then we didn't have to pay in the summer. And so I stayed there for like three years, but before I ever lived there. Were you there for three years? Or like two years, I think. Two. It was, it was I think, junior and senior year of uh, regular school, and then I did one year of for my master's. Um, this fucking guy, so smart, big brainist. But when I, before I ever went there, they threw a party there, and I w- went there, and I just got drunk as hell, and it was like all of the architecture department was there. But in this house, there was this elevator. They had like a handicap accessible elevator because it had three stories, and the guy did not want this elevator being used. I don't know if the elevator was like not being, if, if it was like not safe to use or something, mm. but one of the other dudes who lived there at the time, he was like, I don't know, I was drunk as hell, and I was talking to him, I was like, yo, there's a fucking elevator? And then he's <laughs> like, yeah, dude, let's go. And, like, we just went, and we're just in the elevator, and we go up to the third story, whatever, there's, like, a pool table up in this, like, attic space. It's all, like, finished and shit. Um, and I was like, alright, that was cool as fuck. I rode an elevator. The next morning, I got a text from the guy, he's like, Yo, bro, don't use the fucking elevator. We're like, whatever. He's like, he was being very aggressive. I was just like, all right. What the hell? But that was also, uh, I got really drunk and ended up falling asleep in some dude's bed (laughs) (laughs) who lived there at the time. That you knew? Uh, I did not know him, but his name was Brian as well. So I slept in Brian's room. Was it with a Y or an I? It was with an eye. Fuck him then. That's but fine. He was my roommate Wait. for yeah, honestly, a couple fuck years after. Every that. Brian with an eye. Dude. That's true. Fuck me, Brian. <laughs> it was just funny as hell because then I woke up the next morning. It was like they woke me up at like two a.m. They're like, "Bro, what the fuck are you doing here? Go sleep." Bro, downstairs. you gotta get out of here. You gotta get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Like, so bad. My girlfriend's Brian's back, bro. My, my girlfriend's coming back, yeah, dude. Definitely getting used to drinking a normal amount. That was that was like very useful uh, experience in college mm. because definitely, definitely. When you say normal lot. amount, well, yeah, I mean understanding your limits and all that. Have you ever been tempted by an underage woman? 
What the well, fuck? Uh, I want you to take 30 seconds to think very carefully no. No, about the next that. words I'm, you're going Zach. to say publicly that we are not taking down at any point. Zach, I'm telling you, I'm thinking 100% clear. It's okay, Ben's <laughs> getting this whole thing out. Ben's getting this yeah, whole so, thing out. No, in college, I was a, this episode's going to be like when I was minutes a senior, 20 when minutes. I, when I was a senior in college, <laughs> so I was like 22, 23, something like that, I was in this class and... I, I talk a lot in class, especially if there's a, a I discussion. Tell. If there, uh, you know, if there's, if a, there's discussion, a discussion, you talk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I don't know. I was ran, I was rambling about Medicare for all. I don't know something. I was just going off. And um, oh, at the oh, end, of, oh. at the end of this class, this girl comes up to me and she's like, "Oh, you know, this is like this is my first semester in college, and I, I thought what you were saying was like really smart." And <laughs> I literally was. I literally was like, she she started like. In my mind, I'm like, this woman is like, this 18-year-old girl is like flirting with me. And she's like, I, I thought what you were saying was like really smart. You know, I really like what you were saying. In class. And she was like, she was like, st- started to ramble. So all I did was like, thanks. And I spun around and ran. Like, I literally ran out of the room. Not like ran, ran, but like sped walked out of the room. And I'm texting Haley at the time. I'm like, Haley, this girl is like flirting with me. And like, I just want you to know, I'm just trying to be up front. This 18 year old girl is flirting with me. I ditched the room. I bailed. I like, I sped walked out of the run. Mm-hmm. And Haley calls me and I'm like, Haley's mad. She's mad. And she's like, You're the most autistic person I know. She's just, <laughs> she's just complimenting you about what you say in class. And I was like, No, 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 no. This child was coming on to me. And, like, <laughs> and Haley's like, Not every girl is flirting with you if they like what you say in class. And I was like, Okay, I feel like. You're missing Sean was point. about, you're about to call the police and write on yourself. This yeah, exactly. was talking to me. <laughs> you know, this, this completely legal person who is four years younger than me started complimenting me and I just got really uncomfortable. So I just wanted to I, call the police. <laughs> I have a um, situation I'm just now becoming aware of and I'll be humble here for a moment. I, I was going to be selfish and follow this up with, did you know I met Bernie Sanders and I was pulling up my personal like portfolio web page where I had that in there to like preemptify in case anyone asked like really um but then I found out my personal website was taken down from the Reason. internet wait I like, was just on it like a couple days ago I showed it to someone yeah. a couple days ago but if you look yeah. at my portfolio website right now it just says contact support I Damn. asked you about it and you and you showed and you showed us can I really show you pictures of you and Bernie <laughs> yeah yeah because I ago? asked I I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm, I'm already. Oh, no, wow. it's cool. I wow, don't it's really remember. A blank, it's really a blank page. That's fucking crazy. It's like a white screen on my. Yeah, I'm Shut just up. now finding out that my personal website has been uh, removed from the internet live on there. Someone it's, watched it's, one, one too says, many episodes of the podcast and you got DDoS. I'm telling you what right now. Suspended, this is what I'm seeing right now suspendedpage.cgi. Yeah. See. Is WordPress down? Because it's not even letting me log into my WordPress panel. Oh, wow. If WordPress is down, that's a major issue for many companies. Yeah. Ideally, if this I is a WordPress in general, issue, then. if if this is a WordPress issue, oh. it should be. Um, well, that's not the main website. That's what it is redirecting to now. Um, I sent you the actual URL and host chat. Okay, so drinking can... games. Let's start websites right now. First person to make a good website. Action. Have well, you ever WordPress thought of, like, is genuinely down. Isn't like more than fifty percent of the internet? Ran on WordPress oh, yeah, or something. Probably. They're oh, yeah. back hacked by China right now. China's taking over. This is live coverage. They got a balloon China's up there. Over. They got a balloon. Dude, they got a balloon. No more internet. They got a balloon. But like, what if the internet was down like forever? And this is our live reaction to it. What if this is like a time capsule? That's crazy. Internet. No one would see it. The it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Why do you use WordPress and not uh, Squarespace? Yo, daddy. Uh, Squarespace doesn't have nearly the amount of flexibility. Or, yeah, Squarespace does not nearly have the amount of flexibility that WordPress can. You could build almost any kind of website you can dream of on WordPress. You cannot on Squarespace. Um, with okay, limitations, so obviously, you could not build like a YouTube type platform on WordPress, but can you make like a portfolio. Should I, should, I, should I commute my side project from Squarespace to WordPress? I would have to know what your side project is. If it's I'll just a portfolio it. page like this, then it's probably fine. No, no, it's uh, I know WordPress. Fire singer. Hey, do you guys want to do like Link web admin podcast? You want to do like web <laughs> admin like segment? I actually, I had a question. I had a question for Brian. Shut up. 
<laughs> We're talking about fucking HTML protocols right now, bro. <laughs> I have to go pee real quick, but uh, you could ask your question. Why don't you tell me to shut up before you pee? about CSS formats on? Uh, it's Steve. Oh, Yo, watch Steve! Out, watch out. I don't know, Steve. Watch Hello, out, watch Steve. Out, watch, watch out, watch Hi, out, watch Steve. out. Watch. Steve, oh. my guy. Is Steve also going to drink with us? He might. He might. He's, Steve, uh, he, Steve, he does, Steve. He might not oh, he, he, Steve's joining being. the podcast. Oh, Wait, no. Steve, he you're <laughs> muted, Barney. I can't hear Steve. Steve, we can't hear you. Steve, you have to unmute yourself. I can't hear you, Steve. <laughs> Steve is un- Steve. 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 <laughs> he's like he's not trying to listen. Dude. I can't hear. Dude, I can't hear Steve. He's muted. Steve, I just want you to know I love you. Yo, oh, Steve. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Steve? What are you drinking, Steve? Uh, can you guys hear me? I can hear you, Steve. Yeah. Hey, oh, you were drinking yeah. Durin Logan, right? Yeah. Alex Durin Logan. Muted. So here we go. Yeah. Uh, how, did, how are you, Steve? Bud Light, you know. Um, this is my go-to. This is my beer. I can't see it. You're not showing it. Too, right. There you go. My guy. How are you, Steve? Oh, I'm doing great. How doing, you doing good? Ben. How many? How We're many? talking about blackout stories. Yeah, you got a good blackout no, story, no. Steve? No. 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 I got not being, nope. Wait, have you ever I built a website? Blackout stories. I just don't want to tell it. <laughs> no, no. This is fair. Um, uh, dude. It's this, good to see you, Steve. I haven't seen you in a while. I know, right? How you yeah. been? It's been good. It's been good. It's been good. When was the last time I saw you? Uh probably at my house. Probably. Oh no, no, no! I went to the I went to Barney's birthday. We went Brady, to the Brady. we went to his, uh, the the fucking restaurant. You yeah, went to a restaurant? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That shit was weird. Oh yeah, no. Um, that place actually has decent food. Uh, yeah. I I just booched off Judy, <laughs> Judy's food. I got there yeah. late. It was good shit. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, That's a big jug. <laughs> yeah, I dude, had a burger is... pre takeover and then a burger pro takeover. Like whatever exchange happened there, it was like what a chef bought it at, at that at that restaurant. Yeah, it I don't was remember. Like a chef of the previous restaurant bought it out, and <laughs> that was probably that was probably. Oh, you've been there more than once is what you're saying. Got you. Wait, I've never met Steve before. Steve, if if the world could only know you by one thing and one thing only, what would you want that to be? Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) You get way too deep for me right now. No, it doesn't have to be deep. It could just literally be like, I hate Mondays or something. You little Garfield. I am a hunter. If I have to be completely honest, I'm the type I want... The world to forget me. I don't want to ever be known for anything. A humble I man. To, I want to be the guy that lives my life and does whatever I want, and nobody knows anything about it. Oh, under the radar. <laughs> and go to Mexico and do crimes. I mean, <laughs> wait, you're having stuff I, on. I'm definitely not the type that's gonna do what I'm told because I'm supposed to. So I'd prefer that nobody knows about it in general. Okay, so no, no, no crimes in Mexico. That's what you're saying. He will go to Mexico no, and do crime. Standing Mexican yeah. citizen. Yeah, it sounds like maybe I should be Mexican because <laughs> I, can be a, you know, I can do whatever I want. That's true. I, I guess I guess if you're doing whatever you want, you don't have to be in Mexico to break laws. You can be anywhere you yeah. want to break laws. Yo, speaking of, did you see that big police chase in like Los Sean Angeles Shin today? Shirts again. I mean, I don't plan on like breaking laws. I'm just saying, putting that out there. I'm just saying. You don't plan on it, but what I, happens? I, happens? I, it's I prefer to live my life where, you know, it's not really, I would never want to be a celebrity because I'd never want somebody like, you know, focusing on everything I, I see in my life. Like, I just want to be left alone, live my life my way. And, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to throw a little virtual message in a bottle out there though. Like, uh, like, do you wouldn't want to just write like penis on a <laughs> message and put it in a bottle and throw it out there? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if anyone were to see anything from you, no, honestly, no. Like, I not even penis for me. Like, I want to dickless answer. I want to when I die that nobody even knows I was ever here. I but want, what about a funeral? You don't want anyone showing up to your funeral? Honestly, not really. Like, I, I think I, 
Jesus Christ, dude. I, I was oh, going to come in here and say, like, damn, I can't believe it's 1130 and Haley's going to be home soon. And you guys are talking about fucking death. Dude. Well, actually, no, what's funny about what's funny about that death. is that we kind of me and Sean have kind of had the opposite conversation where we want people to meme on our funeral. So it's kind of like the oh, yeah. opposite thing where it's like we we want people to recognize us for being stupid. And I, obviously, it's probably not going to happen when I die tomorrow in a car crash. But um <laughs> I'll recognize so, you for being stupid. Don't you before, worry. Before you die, can I piss on your body and your fucking? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Before and after, for sure. Every every week, every week, go to my go to my right. my grave I'm site, and there's gonna be like a little patch of like grayish grass right in front of it. Yeah. I don't know. That's uh, Steve's All piss. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna change what what, what I said. I want to rem- be remembered for pissing on Ben. Pissing on my grave. Let's pissing go. On my grave. All right. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, Let's you won me over. Yeah. Most people feel the same way. That's why it's like perfect. <laughs> I hope a little bit goes up his nose. Yeah. I I could try. Why did my nose? Because <laughs> oh, I'd be really humiliated. What if I was you cremated? Have piss a little bit up your nose. What if I'm cremated? Where Where is my nose? It's somewhere in there, I guess. I'll just piss on all your ashes and some of it has to be over. So. It'll be like a sludge of piss and then ash. It's like a cement. Yeah. We'll make you into a brick. Yeah. We'll turn you, when you just die, we'll turn you into a little brick made of your ash and we'll piss. We'll into a house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Piss and then ashes. That's fucking awesome, dude. I would as love to be a little mortar. I would, love, <laughs> I would love to be a little bit of mortar. That, that'd be a great use for me after I'm gone. Like, instead of like donating my body. Yeah, you just make me into a mortar with piss. <laughs> we'll great. turn you into we'll turn you into a supreme brick. We'll get you into like a high fashion. Like an A one brick. A Ben yeah. brick. No, like, like the like, brand Supreme. You know how they oh, just like put Supreme over everything. We'll sell it for like a million dollars. Yeah, it'll yeah, be and then a Ben. Place it in like a place in Las Vegas or something, and just like slot it yeah. into like a, a random exactly. building in Las Vegas. So we're yeah. trying to do business where we just like piss on cremation bodies and yeah, that could that totally part. be a business. We charge like one thousand dollars to piss on your grave. I haven't heard I, of it as another. You probably could make a lot of money. Like that'd yeah. be whatever, great. Whatever building. Name one building made out of like mortar and piss. <laughs> I've, I've heard of one. <laughs> no, imagine one. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the Congress. I love Congress. No, no oh, Congress. Yeah, Congress has been that forever. The <laughs> ashes of indigenous people and the piss of the white devil. That's right. Yeah, like 1492. <laughs> no, I, I think I think the business is you hire someone. To piss on like a relative that you hate, someone that you just okay, hate. but you that's just, like, obviously not legal. You them. just be sending people. <laughs> what do you mean it's not legal? <laughs> They'd hire me to piss yeah, on their grave. That's exactly. No, it's, it's like a it's like a hitman, but it's like a twenty dollar thing. I so will give of, you this though. They don't let you taxidermy yourself, even if you want to, which I find to be that's um, fucked up. That's yeah, that's kind of asinine. Like, like if I what want is my to wife be, gonna fuck when I'm dead? Yeah, like if I want to be stuffed and filled when I die and put in the living room, I should have every right to as a fucking American. Exactly. You know? But the I government agree. tells me I can't. I agree. They say, "Oh, you can only do that to your dog," but to me, that's weirder. What? What? So, like, what? What point is like it, it weird to taxidermy? Like, would you not want your dick? Like, what? What stuffed in your cock egg? Well, I would hope that my family members put a uh, fucking pants on. So no, you just have shriveling cock egg? <laughs> yeah, well, they, they can, would never see him with his pants on. They can like. stuff it, but like if I'm in the living room, like tuck it up, put some pants on. But so, like, you well, know, if my what, if my girlfriend slash future wife or whatever wanted to, you know, throw me in the bedroom and take that off, that's fine. Zach, okay, you have a that, donkey dog ass? That's gross. He's so, that's that's gross. That's He's so fucking flat. <laughs> that's, that's literally you break your dick off. And most people are into Don't it. tell me what's okay, going to happen to my body. I'll still get it when I'm You dead. want your girlfriend to be a necrophilia? <laughs> no, what if, what For if, me? No, here's the thing is, no matter how much she jerks you off, you're not going to nut on her. So that's like, true. And spirit. And that's part of it. That's, that's what I said. That's what I What if, what if when Zach dies, my spirit will have ectoplasm? Exactly. Don't you worry. Yeah, exactly. what, what if, what if when Zach dies, they like, like dissolve all his bones and stuff, and then they just build a bear <laughs> workshop him? Ooh, you know what I mean? but there's that, not enough stuffing for good. his fat, fucking enormous dump truck of an ass. So I don't understand how it, that would even be possible. They would just Man, fill I, I, don't like that you're, I don't like that you're flirting with other guys. <laughs> to be honest, dude, I watched back. I was like, maybe I was. I was thinking about this. I was like, maybe 
when I said Zach has a fat ass and noodle arms, I was being a little bit mean. And then I watched it back and I said, nope, I was right. <laughs> that was exactly right. <laughs> did you like that little clip I made with the eye of the tiger? I did. I liked it a lot. Yeah, dude. I mean, the workout podcast is a thing. You know, what do they call that? Perspiration? Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Perspiration? I just want you to hey, know. How do you feel needing to edit this after this? How do you think you're going to look back? How are all of we going to look back on this episode? Wait, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually really recording? excited, to be honest. Oh, now I'm going to. Now I got some interesting stuff to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your interesting stuff to say, Steve? I'm interested. You piqued um, my curiosity. Uh, not with that really. It's just going to come out. It's not. It's okay. Okay. You're, you're saying, saying, you're you're saying you're you What do you I'm need for it saying, to come out? Um, let me finish this beer and probably two more shots. And we'll hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so we're Steve, hanging out with Steve for a while. Steve's I'm letting I'm, it loose. I'm, Steve's going to let it loose. I'm, I'm going to let loose. I'm glad Steve is here because I'm probably I'm, I'm here. like, well, what? what? Our, uh, you better not try wild videos. Like, I'm gonna have to go. And take give me it. enough video. Give me enough drinks, and you're gonna hear some stuff that you don't want to ever remember. But the, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. The world's gonna remember Steve. So yeah, I hope you fucking right. The yeah. world's gonna remember. This is not what he wanted. This is not what he wanted. There's something yeah. truly poetic. Want to be <laughs> There's something truly poetic <laughs> about true. a man we're, wanting we're, to be lost by the waves of time, <laughs> being remembered for the most uh, degenerate <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Uh, oh, man. It's okay. I think I think the thing that he's gonna write in his bottle. What are you is, chewing on? Sean? This is, is that a Steve? vegan marshmallow. I'm always eating a fucking tissue. <laughs> vegan tissue. What the fuck is a dandy? A dandy. Can it I have one? Vegan marshmallow. It's, tap- it's tapioca. That's how it's they make it. Tapioca. Oh, tapioca. God, All right. Here it starts now. Okay, go for it. Here it starts up. All right, go, go, go Steve, can I grab? Can I just grab one more beer before we before we get here? Because I, oh, yeah. I I gotta get prepared. I, I just, just, I just saw vegan marshmallows and that made me die inside. I know. Keep <laughs> keep going. Keep going. He's about to go in. He's, about to- He's gonna about to let loose, dude. Steve's about to let loose. Yeah, I'm sorry that I'm I'm morally superior. Than- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Sure. Um, okay. So I believe that you should ever eat anything does that doesn't have a dead animal on it at all. Um, if there's what? not a dead animal, you should not be eating it. If it doesn't Dude, have Steve's a dead animal, hard hit is Steve. Steve. Yeah. Steve. Right, so are you are oh, triggering we're getting Steve people right now. So- so you're a carnivore. Are you specifically saying you're a car- so you don't like eating vegetables? No, 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 I'm an omnivore, but I believe that everything that humans eat should have a dead animal on it because we do eat, eat pro cake. No, I, I do actually don't bread. Don't. Nope. I, I only, only eat if, 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 if you if you okay, cut okay, a wait, fucking wait, 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 rabbit's wait, wait, wait. throat and put it on a carrot good, cake, you would I eat it. I do not eat it. I do not eat it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, would you eat green beans if they're fried in animal fat? Yes. But right, base, Dude, base, base. I love Steve. Uh, yeah. I love yeah, Steve yeah, so okay. much. This is base yeah, as fuck. I can't eat that. Yeah, I can't eat that. Base. <laughs> <laughs> so I I so my my theory on this is basically is this real or is this <laughs> so I particularly go um to I like to source my food in a, a way that's actually good for the environment. So okay. I like to um harvest animals that are overpopulated in okay. my environment. So like deer, like deer. Did I just come back to some crazy shit? Maybe. Yeah, he's a, we're finding out about slowly that Steve is a serial killer. So, so <laughs> I, I, kill I, I eat a lot of things that most of you guys would never even consider food. Like such Humans. A, like what? Such yeah. as crows, uh, carp. Um, Cro- wait, 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 wait. Cro- I'm crows? way too drunk to be hearing that I'm, you're eating Don't. crows. Don't. What is so weird about that? It's just a bird. It's a fucking animal. It's so, so it's, an animal to eat. So How is it comparable to like a chicken wing? It's eating completely crow. the opposite. I actually, so, I actually just want to know: Have you eaten crow? Yes. Yes. That's kind of cool. That's kind of base. Uh, unironically, that's kind of base. So there's a fuck ton so, of crows. Um, the pro- what ton of I see as the problem is that people all try to eat the same thing that someone else is eating, and they over harvest a population, and it damages that population. But okay. if you go after a population that is, uh, the population there's too many animals. They're over. Like, say, 
uh, even deer. Like they eat too much of the brush and everything like that. It's where all the rabbits and squirrels and all the small yeah, animals yeah. hide. And then now coyotes can get to them. So coyotes go and eat them. Now the pop, the coyote population gets too big. And now you have multiple issues by targeting one species. Are you saying you eat coyotes? No. Like, unironic? Oh, no, you can I, find I, them out oh, here. They, the Arizona might love you hunting coyotes out where I oh, live. Oh, yeah. Now, out here, you can just shoot as many as you want. No, it. I'm saying you can do that out here, too. I'm saying they'd love for you to do that. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, you targeting a species that is overpopulated is good for the local populations, is good for um, <laughs> the populations that are, like, at risk and everything, and Alex is definitely going to be like, what the fuck is Steve talking about right now? Because everyone's paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever shot a coyote, Steve? Have you ever shot a coyote? I have <laughs> no, I gotta hear what, the, oh. what is the weirdest thing he's had. What is the is the weirdest thing you've eaten, Crow? It's penguin meat, no! probably. <laughs> it's a the Steve, I mean, I like Bard, but I want to hear what the weirdest animal he eat is. I can't be teased by this man eats crow and I, then leave it there. Isn't That's definitely Steve, not. Steve is so interesting to me. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, Zach is about to grill him right now. No, <laughs> no. Wait, what's the? I want to know what the weirdest animal he's eaten is. We'll, we'll be right back. What are you gonna do? They're go kiss? A shot. <laughs> they're, gonna, gonna kill him. <laughs> they're gonna go eat some meat. We gotta, that they just... we gotta make sure the homies are okay. All right. Oh, they're, oh, they're gonna go shoot a crow. Do you have people in your basement? Shoot. Can we eat a crow? Do you have crow in your fridge? Can we eat no. a crow live on the show? Oh crow, no, no, you can't just tease me with a crow and then leave it from there. I either gotta know there's something more weird. You have to eat a crow in front of me. We can eat alligator, maybe. Do you have um, alligator? Yeah, it's the crow. The then you come up and bring the, bring the alligator down. I want to see you eat alligator. You can't just eat it raw, though. I <laughs> don't well, do something with it. Just, just, just hold tight on the alligator game. We'll be back. <laughs> right, Find dude, the weirdest right. thing you can give me and I eat it. Start defrosting it. Just start get a dick. It. Okay. Get a penis and put it in your mouth and eat it. That's the weird. <laughs> I gotta. I don't okay, know if I can right. wait. I think I have to. I love that man. <laughs> I gotta say, I love that man, and I don't mean any disrespect by this, but I have to immediately text Ethan and tell him I just talked to a man who eat, eats, eats crow. Oh, oh, so yeah, I, I, Steve is so listen, interesting to me, unironically. Listen, listen, I like Steve a lot. Uh, uh, unironically, if you, usually I just get kind of annoyed when people are like anti vegan, but if someone's like, uh, oh, I eat like crow, like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> That's I have base <laughs> No, I, I mean, a, there's there's definitely a difference in like perspective of just like yeah, I should be able to eat whatever I want versus I'm gonna go like fish or whatever. I yeah. know Steve gets a fair amount of like pounds of fish. He eats quite a bit of fish. He like literally goes like deep sea fishing or something. Yeah, he has a boat that he takes out in the ocean. And oh, that's yeah, so it. fucking base, dude. I know. Yeah, yeah, Isn't that yeah. Cool? yeah. I know, I know, I know. Oh my god, I love that. What's the weirdest thing you've eaten, Zach? I want to know. Because Sean, I don't know if like yes. you just have an adamant like against all killing of animals or like do you accept that like the food chain is a thing and that like humans but I just like it. an ethical Bro, food it's chain there I, it's nature I, it's nature you look at animals in nature they eat other so animals. like for it's instance dependent. steve fishing just like out in the ocean there like is that acceptable or Me, first, like yeah, i don't give a shit about any of that <laughs> okay, Sean, Sean is super indifferent to the actual politics of what you have of being a vegan, seemingly. Yeah. So he just I'm, likes I'm, it. You just like it. Um, it's okay. I don't like eating like ketchup in other people's fridges, so I feel like that could be something <laughs> yeah, for you, like true. personally, where it's like I just I just personally look at an animal and go nah. I think yeah. poo, uh, poo. I think food. <laughs> I think food consumption. I don't know. My brain is fucked. <laughs> I think food consumption is very personal, and I try not to like hold it against certain people, like individual people, for their choices. So for Thank instance, you. everyone's got. I have so many McDonald's so, points. Yeah, I'm happy common, someone uh, lets it slide. Well, so, so for instance, like factory farming, I think is really fucked up. But I don't blame people for buying chicken and stop and shop. Like, I, uh, you know what I mean? When did you become vegan? What was the? How old uh, were you? I know why. Uh, I know why. Can I answer? Can I answer? Can I answer? I didn't ask why. I said when. Okay, he was in high school. Yeah, and the reason he started is because there was there uh, he would choke on the cheese on pizza and it kind of okay, became a no, no, from no, there. No, no, no. Sean Lord, new Sean Lord just dropped. You, actually, you have that conflated. Um, 
I went and vegan. Okay, so in sixth grade, in fifth grade, my dad had a massive heart attack. This is. And, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to make a joke. <laughs> my, dad, my dad had like a massive heart attack and like collapsed in front of me and like he went like completely white and everything. And the doctor's like, you got to change your diet. And at the time, I was eating like all. Like, I'd go to Subway and I'd order pepperoni, ham, and bacon with extra mayonnaise. Like, that was my sandwich at uh, pepper, pepperoni, <laughs> bacon, and ham, extra mayonnaise. And the doctor was like, yeah, so it was fucking amazing. It was the mm. best fucking sandwich I've ever had in my life. I okay, well, shut the fuck up. Oh, Steve is coming back. Cool, because they were just like. We're not talking about like eating crows and stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, you're full of shit. Like, Sean, like, I get you. Both my parents are vegan. I get it. I get it. It's cool. We we on the same. Yeah. Page. So so it became this sort of sort of health thing, and I was already having issues eating cheese. So it became this. I was like, oh, it's easy to just not do that. And the hardest part actually was giving up milkshakes. Was oh, hardest. so speaking of milkshakes, so what else oh, kind of weird meat have you eaten? Steve? I'll get it, man. She loves them. I'll get her, Steve. What's up? Zach has a question for you. I know alligator isn't that weird to eat. Well, I was just, well, first of all, I was going to ask what is the weirdest, to, to what a normie would think, what is the weirdest thing you've eaten? And then when he told me you guys had alligator, I want you to come, to, I want you to pre- prepare a little, ch- I want to see someone eat some weird shit. Um, I, everything. Alligator's not that weird though. No, but. So I don't have anything right in front of you I can do, but. I was thinking about starting a YouTube channel, just eating weird stuff that actually yes be normal. Um, part cooking channel, part. Yeah, it's like harvesting things in a respectful way, in a way that you're not wasting. Um, yeah. So when you think about fish, like fish is considered a normal food, but a fillet that you take off a of fish is only about 45% of the edible part of the fish. So you're wasting 55% of the animal. Um, so you have the head, you have the cheeks in it, you have the brain, you have the eyeball, the eyes. you yeah. have the milk, the roe, you have the intestines. You well, have the roe is very popular among certain fish. Correct. Correct. But not all. But so the milk, so roe is what you get from a female fish. That's the mm-hmm. eggs. That's the vagina? It's the eggs, it's, it's, you it's uncultured goon. I don't know. I don't know it's what, what roe is. He's not I eating know. fish pussy. He's eating fish <laughs> eggs. He's eating that roe. Fish I mean, pussy is the I most I do like eat pussy, piece. but I have never eaten fish pussy. Fish pussy, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> South Park fish. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Come on. But, so, go on, for I'll example, like, like the males uh, is called milt. Like the um, whole sack that's against the, essentially. That's the sperm, down. right? Yeah, yeah, it's like the, the sperm. sperm and everything. Wait, yeah. you need but fish sperm? I have the the not, not yet, but I will. Okay. Um, can we Can we get an exclusive on that? Sure. I'm, wait, wait. Okay. I don't so, they do, don't fish just like create a bunch of fucking semen that just like drifts down the a yeah, lake it, hoping it, it, like, to like just, impregnate. It disperses. Yes, yes. they Crazy they shit. put it out like kind of like a mist in the water that like just it's, goes across the whole egg sac, and that's how they fertilize the eggs. You you are absolutely correct, but wow. they still have an organ in their body that is called the milt that holds all of the. Uh, it's not semen like in a guy. Like if you go jerk off, it's not too salty, right? I, <laughs> it's like pollen, pollen, pollen fish know. semen. I've never eaten fish semen. The so organ is the it. important part. Yeah, but the, yeah, yeah, it's the organ. So have you eaten fish sticks? Organ. Wait, so how do you prep the organs? Because like the meat, obviously, you just <laughs> you, know, you cook the meat. <laughs> yeah, but with the head, you use that for broth or like to make stock no. out of it or something. So what you actually do is you can either put it on the grill or you can boil it. But essentially, if you put it on the grill, you cut the head in half, okay. and then when you do, it cooks from the bottom up, and then just like anything else, it's just meat. You just eat it, and it's so uh, the bones. You should be able to eat most of the fish, right? Yeah, you can eat about 90, 95% of the fish. So you, well, only, that's a- you only can't eat the bones and I forget what it's called, but they have this organ inside that almost looks like seaweed. And it's something to do with like the filtration of the water 
And okay, because, so it's got like poison and shit in it. Like Yeah, it's it's essentially like our liver. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to eat our liver because we have such toxic food <clears throat> as humans. You know. yeah, I we know like the mercury, in, the mercury and damn stuff. alcoholics, the leaded gasoline. <laughs> Hey, I wish I was in a more sober mind state to talk to you because I yeah, am genuinely wait, yeah. interested in this. I actually am like genuinely interested in that. Like, but I do, I do know that in like many Pacific cultures, like whether it's the Caribbean or do you say Caribbean or Caribbean? Either way, um, Caribbean, that, like, South Asian cultures and whatnot, like fish are typically served whole with the head, and you consume Correct. the majority of the fish. But for Westerners, that's such a culture shock. And like, yeah, I'll you know, be honest funny. with you, I wouldn't eat it. But like, I do look at it and recognize like that is someone's culture and my culture wastes this part of the animal. I just find it fascinating to be like this. This dude's fucking like taking it's that message by pussy. the balls. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's eating fish pussy. <laughs> it's like, I'll be honest, like in because I'm an American and like the culture and everything, like it does actually when I approach this, it's not something that I approach because like, oh, I'm looking forward to it or, or anything like that. I just hate the idea of wasting things. If something loses its life to feed you, I feel like you should do it the respect of using it as efficiently as possible. And I have 35,000 McDonald points, but I respect your position so hard. That's like, way too many points. <laughs> I, don't res- I don't respect that, Zach. <laughs> when my, when my, mom, my mom and dad had their honeymoon in Hawaii, and my mom literally threw up at the table when they served her a fish head with like eyes and everything. She like literally <laughs> threw up at the table. Yeah, Eat around it. I was going to say, in up. Italy, yeah. they served me a whole fish, and I was just like, all right, this is definitely a culture shock. Like, I definitely was expecting and just get a fillet that I could just eat, but then I had to eat around the bones. Yeah, I, just... I saw it for the first time in Portugal when they served it with the fish head, and we asked about it, and they said you serve it with the fish head so you could see how clear the eyes are to know that the fish mm. is fresh. So you know it wasn't sitting in a freezer forever because the eyes aren't glassy. And I'm like, you know, that that was something I noticed when I went to Europe last year too. Is a lot of those shops would hang their like racks of meat outside to prove to customers that the meat there was fresh, right? Like, yeah, they obviously had traditional forms of advertising too. But I thought that was interesting that these Mm -hmm. like these restaurants would hang racks of meat either outside or on the inside of their windowsill, so customers walking by would know that's a fresh rack of meat. Mm. I know if I go in there, they have that quality of the cut that they, they have, have that, hanging and cured. Yeah, like some dry you know what's great, you know what's great about yeah. vegetables is that it doesn't have wisteria or any of that garbage. Really. I don't know what right, that word means. Stupid, dude. But it has pesticides. Uh-huh. Yeah, Monsanto. But, but what a <laughs> lot of people don't know is most pesticides in your food actually comes from the way it's handled. It's not in the meat, it's the way people handle them. We talked about this with drugs. Do you remember like two days ago, I was saying how I was watching a YouTube channel where the guy who was talking about fentanyl-laced weed is actually because of the third-party drug dealers, not the oh, yeah. cartels. Not the cartels, but, but the dude in Hartford handling your weed doesn't wash his hands. Yeah, yeah, it's shit like that. It's crazy to me. Because it's, it's true, a lot of the pesticides and stuff get absorbed into the ground, and, and it's not like you're just eating lettuce or, or or eating a pig that was, like, they don't just spray the pigs with, like, poison. No. You know? They do sometimes. That's the, the pig isn't going to survive as well if you do that. Exactly, exactly right. But yeah, the yeah. pig will eat pretty much anything you put in front of it, and if well, you put some but then, pesticides... But, but you're not <laughs> eating the liver of the pig. The, the, the point is, is, like, they're touching shit all... Like, the farmers themselves are touching shit all day, and they're spraying garbage onto their... Yeah, sorry, I, you're... I, I have a question for Steve. Yep. Uh, buddy, how, how, I'm curious on your views on like slaughterhouses, like animals that grow up to be slaughtered. How do you feel about those? Um, I think it's a disgusting act. I think it's incredibly inhumane. I think it's the, from science, He's vegan. Num- it's the number <laughs> one reason why he took the alternate option to what you took. You saw yeah. a fork in the road, and you both went two separate ways. 
I respect. No, he chose the right thing. Yeah, I I legitimately respect what he's saying right now. So yeah, Yeah. no, I do too. However, Steve, you still do buy whatever steaks or anything like that, right? Well, no one's a perfect. Like, there's no no ethical consumption under capitalism. Well, like I I think veal is a good example of like where to draw the line because veal is literally like a young animal that's just been raised purely to be like food, and it's like malnourished. In the sense that it gets way more food than it needs to, yeah, purely so that it can be a better food source. No, no. So, so I think veal is really like the. So like, do you support veal? Like, do you like veal? What animal is veal? Is that <laughs> veal? Is a cow, baby right? cow. Baby cow. Oh, yeah. Baby. Cow. I thought veal was lamb. What? What is? What's or, the baby lamb? Or, or it might be baby lamb, but I think I it's think baby cow. Lost, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it was Wait. baby cow. Yeah, because there's a song, <laughs> baby, baby cow going, going mad, mad in the field. field. It's something, yeah, something gonna be like, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, wait, wait, that's um that's they Katie Perry. Right? Up that's a Katie Perry. Cow. Can we can we offer Steve fifty dollars to eat crow? On an upcoming episode, <laughs> you know, yes. it, he'd you know, probably like, do it for free. Yeah. But I, well, no, I want should, to incentivize. Him. Actually, we should I do to, a live. I have, soon, I have to go soon. But in college, me and my roommate almost got in trouble by the dorm manager, like the people who owned the actual dorms we lived in, um, because we watched a YouTube video about how to befriend a crow. There was there's a lot of crows on the RIT campus, and we watched a YouTube video that crows like recognize faces. And they can pass. Yes. They can pass down the the to their kids, to the babies of the crows. They can say like, "Hey, this guy is a good guy. That guy's a bad guy." They can do that. And so we we're like, we want to get on the good side. There's like <laughs> hundred, hundreds of crows on the RIT campus. So we're like, we want to get on the good side. So we start leaving out meat because we looked up this video of how to how to get crows to like you. So we started leaving out buckets of meat right outside our window, and crows would come up to our window. <laughs> eating this meat, worms, like, uh, you know, beef. we just leave raw meat and shit out, and crows would start eating it. And we had, like, 20 crows outside of our dorm window, and the uh, campus police knocked on our door, and they were like, okay, we don't know what the fuck you guys are doing, but you gotta stop leaving meat outside your window, because <laughs> the, the crows are shitting and ruining the grass. And we were like, listen, we're watching this YouTube video where the crows are gonna be our friends, <laughs> <laughs> and they were, they were like, "We will literally kick you out of this dorm if you don't start leaving me on the on the ground." Well, I'm gonna fucking attack you with thirty crows. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, <laughs> gonna do about so, so we ended up getting this, this. That's actually the reason we got our apartment. Uh, we got an apartment right offside of camp, right outside of campus, and we just kept feeding the crows. <laughs> the crows, like literally, like crows started following us. We would get on the bus, and there were like four crows at the bus stop <laughs> watching us. They were like these. Crows know us right like so that's hilarious. they do that shit that you were talking about you said they, 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 they like leave fresh meat out in europe they do that in fucking new york like in chinatown am i wrong so, um, no they're just dirty in new york that's just what it is well, so, yeah i mean that's also true but i can tell you in phoenix arizona i don't see people hanging hunks of meat outside of their window oh yeah we were just hang, like literally crows. like we were just throwing raw meat out the way we would just like buy meat. like when you say raw meat you mean like sliced it was like cured meat, meat. No, it wasn't no, like no, they were no, hanging like cured. a ribeye no. steak yeah, no, we would. There was oh, a there was yeah. a local farm. There was a local farm that sold like fresh chicken, whatever. And we would just buy that and then just chop it up and like. Sometimes we would put like um, what's what did we put on it? We put like sp- like uh, not spices, but um, like fennel and stuff to like mm-hmm. attract like, stronger mm-hmm. scents. Fennel. fennel. <laughs> And, and the, the fucking crows price. would just, we like birds. We'd like we'd like uh, take a bunch of this raw chicken and like mold it up with like bird seed and throw it out of our windows. And uh, we would just get fucking like thirty crows. What like, like, what's the point of getting these crows? You're trying to like buy, get steal money from people, or like? No, I just it was like it felt like <laughs> a what cool a big point. brain scheme to throw raw hunks of meat outside of your window to try to get yeah, crows to steal 100%. money for you. you. Ever seen that before? No, we we it's like a Sigma male TikTok edit <laughs> as to how I became a billionaire. It's training <laughs> crows to oh, pickpocket. Wondering strangers. how I got this multi million dollar mansion. <laughs> If you don't have 30 crows on your payroll, <laughs> you're not grinding hard enough, That's brother. That's fucking stupid. That's so yeah. funny, dude. Most people have five crows. <laughs> I have over 25 crows. 60% of all billionaires have 20 crows, crows on payroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, yeah. shit. But, uh, yeah, crows are pretty badass, dude. They're crows cool. Yeah, you, you ever remember that uh, episode of Naruto where... where 
uh, Itachi right, put a crow go. in the go. Go. <laughs> right, well, yeah. That um, sounds like a spoiler right there. Yeah, I realized halfway through saying it, I was like, oh, Brian hasn't seen. Um, but speaking of uh, uh, things that uh, Brian hasn't seen, how is the your uh, first episode on the podcast, Brian? <laughs> Where you were able to speak. <laughs> Stuff. It's definitely no. nice. I mean, I I would still th- th- say uh, last episode was was uh, was a good wow. introduction. It was it was, it was just I did not realize uh, Ongo Glob and Ongo uh, Bongo. I didn't were, either. It was, <laughs> it was just said? such a shock. I mean, it was. But it was he's, really he's very funny. funny. He's unironically yeah. very yeah. very. Funny. Which one? Was, uh, I I did not expect that much at all. But. Um, I don't know how the fuck he does it. Zach's doing him for so long, and I don't. Well, I love which doing one. Wait, like, wait, which one? Wait, wait. Yeah, it's uh, two, two guys, right? It's Ethan. Yeah. Ethan. He's the funniest yeah. guy that I. I've not. Well, I've known it's Ethan funny since because I was seven years old. Yeah. The night before, when that when I had joined there, I had actually just been to a comedy show, so I had gone to like this like. It was. It was. So you were burnt out, and you were like, "Wow, this guy is so much funnier than the other guy." No, no, but I like. I I like just stand up comedy in general. If you have the heart to do stand up comedy, like that is definitely. Mm -hmm. You're just like putting yourself out there, being like, "All right." Hey, did I tell you about the the rarity of black Jews? Excuse me. What? (laughs) All right, everyone. That's Sean's open mic night. Um, Um, Steven uh, looks depressed. Steven looks like he I, had the limelight I'm, for I'm, a moment. Not, now he's hearing about. No, 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 I'm just not in, involved in the black Jew thing. Like that's not. He's good. I automatically. I have to go. This is like way past my bedtime. All right. but, uh, I love you, Sean. Okay. <laughs> good night. We love you. Have nice talking to all. Yeah. Bye, Sean. Bye, Sean. Uh, so yeah, I, right. You uh, kidding? Just kidding. Now I'm. Okay. He's so annoying. Okay. He's so annoying. Again. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just not used to this whole setup. Like, this is something Alex is like, hey, I got to deal with the uh, guy we took out fishing today. He's getting drunk and trying to leave. And I'm like, fucking let him. <laughs> <laughs> How far does he have to drive? Dumbass. Right, right down, <laughs> down to, <laughs> you know, like, oh, it's the worst roads. thing that happens, he goes getting gets stuck in his own farmland. Like, who cares? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, fucking gets stuck. He's not gonna. If he could potentially hurt someone, that's a different story. But depends on how cocked. He's gonna hit farmland and be stuck in a field somewhere, and like, all right, walk home from there. Goodbye. (laughs) I don't know. I I didn't invite him to my house. Um, that's Alex's thing, and he wants me to fix it. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, so 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 he he took his spot on the podcast, which is. What you do is yeah, perfect. I, that's that's what I did. I'm like, I didn't bring him. I didn't give him alcohol. I didn't do anything. I was sober the whole day until I got back to my house. There you go. Wait, is he okay? Is he? Oh in no, trouble? They're, they're fine. No, it's just, you know, you should face. So yeah, some people drinking, think too much about things, and fair enough. Um, one wants to sleep in his car, and the other wants him to sleep on the couch. So. <laughs> You got a you're whole ass mess on, over there, bro. Yeah, What's going you're on? on? You're sleeping on the property. Who gives a shit? Fuck yeah, off. Right, yeah. I don't know. I've slept in my car many times. Who oh, cares? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, you have a truck, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I had to... When I went to your place, do you remember I, had, I brought my van with everybody in it? And I could not figure out... Why does everyone here have a van? How many people I have, have a van? Oh, I actually, I, I got a work van. Does that count? Alex has one of them. Alex is Barney. His name is Alex Barney. That's so they they use those, you know, whatever. Um, So so do I refer to him as Barney or Alex? I just want to know. I call him Barney. I whatever you want to. Who cares? Doesn't matter. I call. What's his phone number? Just. Just yeah, with his phone number <laughs> in his email, maybe. <laughs> uh, are you trying to send dick pics or something? <laughs> yeah. like, social security number begins with. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'm just saying they can get mixed up with mine for some reason. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I kind of have to pee. Do I have a minute? Yeah, go pee. No, I'm, I was going to talk to Steve yeah, about four, a, a Steve story. But I seconds. like. But this is my first time meeting Steve, and I kind of like him. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. I like Steve, you Steve, I gotta go pee. Steve, yeah. at the same time, you have to go pee to, to make him happy. I, all right, I'll go, go pee, pee too. too. I, I gotta go. Pee. I have to pee too. I have to pee too. All right, everybody, everybody, go pee if that's what you gotta do. If you gotta take a piss, you go now. Brian, I saw you go piss earlier, so I know you don't gotta go.
So Ben, it's What's just up, you dude? and I. How, how are you, Bray? Uh, you know, I'm doing pretty good. I, I still have a little bit of prep to do. We're gonna see the Mario movie tomorrow. Dude, I have I have a lot of prep to do tomorrow. You know what my prep yeah. is? Well, what do you mean? What do you have to prep for tomorrow? Um, you have to you have to leave there pretty early, right? Yeah, driving is the prep. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and there's it's three hours there, whatever. Yeah, I mean, it, with holiday traffic, I don't know. I'm kind of worried that it's, I might be late. Easter but. is definitely going to be, dude. You should definitely leave at like six a.m. That's what that's what everybody's saying. I can't do it though. I can't. I can't. I can barely drive while I'm awake. <laughs> to drive yeah, when no, I'm half asleep. But you're going to make it way easier on yourself unless you want to be going like 15 miles per hour down like the highway. I, well, I mean, because we'll of see. American infrastructure, <laughs> instead of high speed rail, we're gonna I, just have a bunch of fucking giant SUVs going down a. There's a 75 percent chance that I'm just gonna be wrong, like that I'm I should have left this, that uh, 6 a.m. But I don't think I could do it. Steve, how are you enjoying the podcast? Uh, honestly, I'm actually really enjoying this. I kind of want to join on my own, like while Alex is here in the future too, and figure out how to. Yeah, it would be nice to have both stuff. Alex and you there. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm like sometimes I'm not, you know, as knowledgeable on certain things. Like <laughs> when you're talking about like Naruto, Naruto. <laughs> yeah, I, I, me I, too. No, I know how to say it. I promise you. I'm just, I've had a few beers. Fair enough. Uh, I know Naruto. I know the headband. I don't know. Yeah, the, the, the yeah. Naruto run. Yeah. And what's the girl's name? Anna? No. What's her name? That's from uh, Overwatch. I mean, no. Well, yeah. But no. Who's the girl's name? There are. This, this show Sakura? is. No, like the main girl. She's Kanata? like fairly brown skinned and um, she rides the flying oxen sometimes, right? Is he talking about Katara? Maybe. <laughs> from know. from. <laughs> no, it's definitely from Naruto. There's no, no air. I'm thinking of Avatar: The Last Air. Yeah, Bender. I know. That's why I said Katara. <laughs> 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 Never mind. No. Totally different. Totally I don't know different what I'm thing. If Alex about. was here, he would. He would definitely talk to you about yeah. that. Oh yeah. Oh, he, he would. Of, yeah. He Which would. it's kind of weird that like I've got along so well with Ben and and um. Everyone God damn it, Brian. I, I'm sorry for yeah, saying yeah, that. Steve forgets names. names. It's very funny when Steve forgets yeah. names when he's drinking. It's so hilarious. He'll, yeah. he'll, he'll be like, uh, that guy that over sober. there, that guy, it'll be right in front of him. And he'll have dude, said his dude, name five like minutes a, ago. That's like a common yeah. thing people do like sober in like office settings. It's like they'll forget their coworker's name you know what? I forget for my like name. a month. I've actually learned when you meet someone, the most important thing is it doesn't matter what they say. You have to remember their name because if you Business remember advice. someone's name, it's more of like a personal connection. The next time you see them, the next time you see someone that you've met one time and you call them by their name, they feel more comfortable with you. So like, it's important to remember names. And I do, I put in so much effort to remember names and then I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's because you're putting so much effort into it. Maybe you're overthinking. Maybe, it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Like I don't know. I just I try so hard and then I can't do it. Like I I could like you got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Uh, there you yeah, go. Like, yeah. like everybody here that I don't know, I will. If I ever see you guys again, and it could be like twenty years, I will know that I saw you, but I can't for the life of me remember a name. But it's like a psychological thing. Like I went to college for psychology that if you remember someone's name and you talk to them and every single time you see them, you say their name, you build a personal connection, whether they want to or not, because it's more intimate mm -hmm. for lack of a better term. And I just can't for the life of me remember names <laughs> <laughs> and I try so, so hard. I, I used to have a thing where I would remember, I could remember birthdays really well of people. Now I'm a dog shit. What's my birthday? Remembering birthdays. <laughs> November 11th. Nope. May 24th. Nope. September 11th. September 14th. <laughs> that was pretty close. <laughs> January One of those was pretty close. Oh, do you know, it's, it's September, like September 14th, right? 16th. Or something like that. December you got 24th. the month right. Except it's, it's, it's right 9th. around 9 11, I remember. Yep, because of my birthday. I had the event. September 9th right. or something, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Oh, 9 shit. 9, baby. Yeah. I said it. I said it. I said I'm it. not that far off. I said it first. 
<laughs> Run back the tape. I said it first, but in school. September 9th. September 9th or something, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I'm so sorry, Tristan. I do that sometimes where I be addicted to people. All right. Tristan <laughs> okay. and Mike, right? Yes, Got it. Mike. Nope. Nailed it. Wait. Yep. Yeah, sure. Nailed it. Go ahead. Uh, definitely wasn't Mike. It doesn't help that my Discord <laughs> name is not my real name. That's true. That's also true. I'm just going to call you Marvin to have your real name. Marvin. Day. All right. You got Marvin and Tristan. <laughs> yep. That's pretty good. Get it? You uh, call me T. No, there's oh, a um, good barn. There, there, there's like a company around my area. It's um, Gettle. They do like AC repairs, HVAC stuff, home stuff or whatever. But their whole marketing thing is... Um, they refer to stupid people as Melvins, like in all of their oh, ads. Yes. There's like a, in all of their ads, there's like a, a klutzy do, 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 character named Melvin that fucks stuff up that they, <laughs> but their whole marketing thing is we don't hire Melvins. Like you'll drive like <laughs> on the freeway and you'll see a big billboard that says Gettle. We don't hire Melvins. And I feel really bad for the guy named Melvin that definitely Ooh. somewhere works for You're that right. company. You're right. I was, yeah. I was just going to say, they could have the smartest guy in the county named Melvin. And they're like, sorry, we no, don't can't hire do Melvin. <laughs> Anybody but you. You may be the best at the job, but your name's Melvin. Yeah, so you sorry. Yeah, I mean, you if your name's it. Melvin, though, and they're like, <laughs> we want to hire you. You're like, holy oh, shit. Oh, yeah, then they have to change mm-hmm. their slogan and everything. You broke the matrix. Yeah. Oh yeah. What if like what if like you hire the company, they get a call out and on the name tag you just see, hi, my name is Melvin. They they turn you away. They'd be like, no, nah, I can't do this. I'm sorry, I can't take it. They this. have a bouncer. <laughs> All right. So anyway to get on um, the job site, you can't be named Melvin. So I don't accidentally call you Melvin. What what's your name again? My I name is Zach. It. Zach. Oh wow, I was way off. Well, no, Mike yeah, was close. I feel okay. like there's the K sound at the end. I kind of, I don't, like I don't it. hate Marvin. Marvin's not a bad name. No, I, is Marvin a nickname for something longer, or is that like the full name? I don't Marvel. think I've ever met a Marvin. And, um, and I have, Marvel. I have actually met a guy named Melvin. And Melvin. His name was <laughs> Melvin. Actually, it was his last name. But so this guy was like. Always, you know, had every everybody was his friend. He was a cool guy and everything. And then he got caught like on acid in a closet, jerking off to him, like on himself, like nutting on himself, and like everybody found him in a closet, nutting on Tuesday. himself. And then all of a sudden, this Melvin guy like was no longer the cool guy in the school. <laughs> so. I mean, <laughs> well, you can't get caught doing that. I mean, you can't be the cool Melvin. guy at school. He's like, well, I was on acid. I thought he would all like, get, yeah, I thought he'd get would... cooler. Yeah, I would think I he would mean, get cooler, too. Yeah, I thought he'd be like, that's uh, no. Melvin. Like, Sounds Melvin like a with pretty the Melvin jerk. thing to do. Well, in certain circles, he got cooler, and <laughs> all those kids what got circles? Heroin, and now they're all dead. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 That story was a uh, roller coaster. That yeah, was a roller coaster. There were so many turns to that story. You know, a lot of you people know, I was invested in the Melvin story for a moment. <laughs> he he died of a heroin overdose. Actually, he was the he popular kid at school. He was the only one who didn't. All his friends did. So he ended up being his own hero? He, it's yeah, the Melvin he's, curse. <laughs> he still jerks off out of himself. In- no! <laughs> that's that's not even a lie. That's not even a lie. Yeah, every time you see how him, there's know? a streak on his face. Uh, that's how you know. He's, he's still around. He's a big, like, pothead pot dealer. And, you know, he sells ex- ecstasy and acid and everything. And he's just fucking... Why'd you oh, buy a pot from Melvin. a guy who comes on himself? He sells that extra sticky. I personally did not. <laughs> extra sticky. <laughs> but all my buddies. They were Maui Wowie, am I right? They're like, yeah. dude, for some reason, this, this butt is, is ex- extra, extra sticky. Extra sticky weed. That's right? what Tristan <laughs> just said. Don't, he's happened twice to him today. I did it the first oh, time. Yes. I will defend him the second time. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tristan. No, <laughs> that was no, not really, you. You don't need to really, apologize. That guy needs to yeah, apologize. I don't even know if I'm right? pointing the right way. They're, it's I think cool. it's Brian, right? Cool. They're ripping off it. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that's funny. I feel like I feel like if you have the name Melvin in first, middle, or last name, you're yeah, gonna yourself. be weird. All right. If oh. anyone here is Melvin, I love you. Never mind. Yeah. 
Yeah. You're welcome Our to middle the middle name is just bound to be like nerdy and shit. About. <laughs> We're not demeaning Melvins. <laughs> Never. You guys, wait, wait, what, wait, what are your wait, wait. Names? I was going to bring up a similar thing, but my middle name Dakota is Dakota Lee Cole. Rose. Sorry. I miss that because. Do you have a Cole. name, that. middle name? Dakota Lee Rose? Dakota Lee Rose. That's mine. What? That's three words. That's three I know. words. It's, it's confusing. It's confusing. But it's on the birth certificate, man. I don't know what to Wait, So, what's your full name? Tristan Dakota Lee Rose Werner. That's, that's not a thing. Full. I'm telling you, that, that's, that's what it not is. real. That's, there's I'm no way that's real. You, I kind of love that for you, though. I might have made it up in my dreams, but I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> my I'm pretty sure that's my name. I think I, I know, know my name. You, you probably know. know you, I would hope that you know better than everybody, everybody else here. And I, at least you know your name better than everybody else. So It that's might be a big, some man. heavy bleeping there. <laughs> ben, Ben, what Paquette? You know my. You, Brian knows my middle name. I know. Do, do you guys know my middle name? Take a guess. Douchebag. Elizabeth. It starts with an Bra- L. Not douchebag. Bra- Melvin. <laughs> it's definitely it's not Melvin. Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be Melvin. It's no Melvin, dude. <laughs> what happened? You okay? Marcus. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Montanabo Bay. Don't act like you're talking. Don't act like you're he's talking. He's muted. He's. He, I know. He's. I thought I was tweaking for a second. When for your about boy five has seconds to leave there. the search and destroy lobby <laughs> midway through a two v five. M name. Middle name M name. Shut the f- Zach. I'm gonna. Oh, he actually inflicted. His- oh. <laughs> <laughs> so who's me? You good, Zach. You're good. Fix your audio. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, is that to his mic? You just he wasn't up joking. I, I thought he was joking that he was muted. He straight up just pulled that shit at a ninety degree angle. Wait, what about your headphones? Can you pull that down, or is that mic shitty? It's a, it's it's all right. It's a fine mic. I mean, if if this one is broken, then he, he's gonna have to use it. Why right, he got it? Maybe <laughs> he can, <laughs> he can hear us, but back. he can't. He can't. He can't defend himself. Someone make a claim. Oh my god, <laughs> Zach's real name is Melvin. Zach's oh, real, Zach's name is real name is Melvin. He's like, I need to reconnect immediately. I need to. <laughs> He's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. His, his real name is Melvin. Can we clip this? Yeah, Zach's his real name, name is Melvin. Zach, and, uh, if your real name is not yeah. Melvin, yeah. can't defend himself. Oh, can't we, defend we himself. Fucking, that's that's what I'm crazy that he, He's done. So it is true. Resolution for everyone. Let's go, yeah, oh, dude. One Zach down. Is, I feel no, like Melvin, he's not going to fix his mic. Melvin down. One Melvin. Yeah. One Melvin. Well, no, no yeah. if he can use his headset mic, I'm sure he'll use that. Yeah. But that is so funny. And that is so, so funny wait. that he, I don't know what he did. Uh, Tristan, what, are, what mic what are do we you on? have right just, now? What is it, that in front of you? This is a lav mic. That's. Oh, like, okay. You're just. Okay. Yeah. 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 Why you put it on your. Nice. What do you clip it? It's, where? On, it's on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Shit. <laughs> what, were you, what, what were you going to ask, Steve? I'll be right back, guys. Um. Oh, I was just asking. This is Discord, right? It's Discord. That's yeah, where yeah. we're on. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, I, I'm not too familiar with a lot of these, you know, yeah, platforms to communicate. But I'm like, I, I think I know that symbol. Yeah, you had it. You're it's right. like the it's almost like the Xbox symbol with like eyes on it. Yeah, it's like a little game pad. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm gonna go grab another beer. All right, enjoy. I'll be right back. All right, enjoy. Oh yeah. What happened to What happened to Zach? What happened to Zach? Can we let's guess what happened to so, Zach? So he showed a cord that was obviously very fucked up. Mm-hmm. It was uh whatever, a cord with a metal socket that was Oh no, he's back. I think he was scared, honestly. And he's still scared, doesn't want to speak after that conversation. After the Melvin that was his headset you know. slash mic, right? Not his camera. That was his that was his mic. He's oh, gone again. He's he's freaking uh, out. He's Zach freaking might out. be dead. This might be the end of the podcast. Guys, yeah, someone's back hacking Zach right now, and uh, they're trying to take over the regurgitated podcast. I want to like, should I call him? You should. Do you? Does you guys both have iPhones? You can FaceTime in. I can't. I don't, we neither of us have iPhones. Oh, uh, never mind then. Can't do that. Uh, I, I mean, I could just you know, call I him think... and keep him on, put him on speaker, and ask him. Yeah, if he's... yeah, we just do that. Let's do that. That works. All right. All right. Let's do that. Still get him on the phone. Zachary Levenstein, where are you? That's his last name. 
Zachary Levinson. So I went upstairs to try to find Alex, and he is out cold. <laughs> I've never heard. I've never heard someone snore like he is snoring right now. Hilarious. I walked upstairs and my front door was open and I'm like holy fuck dude I think I have a possum in my house <laughs> with the sound I was hearing and I'm like oh shit like I got a goddamn possum in my house oh, nope it's Alex job, snoring <laughs> that's right. a successful oh, 21st episode this is this is oh, so far so good <laughs> wait so I'm calling, I'm calling Zach because his microphone is broken I'm gonna see what he says to say oh <gasps> wait <clears throat> okay does this? I was just calling wait, you. Zach. Does this sound awful? No, it's no. Not why, that is your, bad. Is your, no, is we, your cord fucked? I think I finally broke it. <laughs> uh, I I finally... Bro, that shoe was tilted at like a sixty well, degree it angle. It was always like that, but I think I broke it even more. What happened? Oh, what happened when you moved? You moved, and then you, we thought you were joking about being muted, but no. It, it, it so <laughs> it was already bent a little bit, but now it's bented so like more. Um, I think it finally broke. Ben, what was it? You told me what this cable was called at one point. What is it called? I can again? send you a link on it for on Amazon. What is it called? Uh, mini. I think it's a mini USB or micro USB. Okay, I can't tell. I'll buy one. <clears throat> Do you know what's funny about that? My phone charger actually just broke today, like two days ago. What is ago he with having problems with these cords? Oh, garbage now. We should tell Zach the news about uh, what happened. Oh, what's funny is it was giving me the light on this camera like it was connected but discord wasn't registering it i got it to register one more time but then it fell off again so yeah you just need a new cord maybe do, is the know. port okay on your on your mic i mean it should be i okay. haven't like looked in it do you want to expect its little little hole oh, hell <laughs> yeah wait you inspect this hole it's like a nice and tight to me we do no, a hole fine. inspection no, on the show fine. dude no lint at all yeah mm. lintless oh all my right. god oh, there you go yeah Hey, you're good. Right. This is my blue Yeti microphone. Ben, what is the microphone you have again? This is the RE20. Do we got wow. some affiliate links down below that uh, people no, can we sign will. up? <laughs> what, what, what lab do you have? The uh, ATX20. Yeah, both Barney, both Barney and well, Steve now. Now I can get up and walk and around, and there's nothing stopping me from talking to you. Steve and Brian both have the AT2020 USB. Uh, oh, and that's what you had. I need that's an what AT you were, mic. That's what you were using before. Uh, Tristan, that was the one that you had there with the blue light that you said was shit. Oh yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Hey, what? Uh, it's not what, shit. Mine was bad. So what? What I did, didn't what, have like the, what lab is that? I missed a call from Ben Paquette. Yeah, I called you for like one half second because I wanted to see what was going on. Oh, it's Movo. It's the Movo love. Yo. Hey, hey love. I just I wanted to make sure, sure everything was okay. okay. I, I got a missed call, call from you. From you. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Um, fix that fucking echo. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I swear to God, I will drive to your place, Ben. Wait, I will smack you in the mouth. Wait, adult and juvenile dead. Others hospitalized after crash in Scottsdale. Uh, yeah, that was just great. Why, why did you have to bring that up? Continue why did my be, phone have to bring yeah. that up? That's fucked I don't up. know. I, I was in a good mood until you spoke. <laughs> yeah, literally, dude. The system Wait, is. Well, I do to... the news. I do the news on the show usually, but it's usually a joke. This time, it's not. It says adult and juvenile have died, and others are hospitalized after a multi-vehicle crash on Goldust Avenue in Scottsdale Road Friday night. It is unknown how many other people were taken to the hospital or their conditions at the time. Officials say alcohol and speed do appear to be a factor in this crash. No further information is available. This is a developing situation. Stay with ABC 15 at ABC 15.com for the latest information. And then they're trying to sell me swim trunks right underneath. <laughs> so, the that swim is a trunks great, so you can help ABC. That is a great segue, Zach, into I think we're going to be wrapping it up soon. But that is a great segue into saying drink responsibly. I'm sober pretty much. I mean, I had a little bit of vodka in my alcohol uh, in my in my Diet Coke. You guys have been <laughs> drinking a little bit. Drink responsibly. Uh, don't, don't get behind the wheel after you obviously drink. no driving, no driving. Um, and if the man some keys and Just don't, kidding. don't, don't it's cheat, true. don't drink when you're sad. I don't think that goes well. I don't oh, know. The though. reason why I made that face in the first place though was because it said my laptop battery is dead, but it's definitely plugged in. So there might be a cable issue there too. 
What's your what's your problem? What's your problem? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna I, send I you links. Right, I'm gonna send you a link right now. I'm gonna literally send you a link a link right now, and you're gonna fucking buy it. Pussy. Ben is Ben is not drunk. <laughs> yeah, ben, you want to say that again in English? My buddy well, Ace. You guys know AC. <laughs> so two of you know AC. That is a nice thigh. What the <laughs> fuck? Are you are, are you shaved or you just have baby thighs? Um, I got what a lot of hair. Like it, it's also it, it it's also like the lighting. Like I promise you, it is hairy around here. But I'm like a white dude in this like. N- <clears throat> so there's there's orange light over mm. here, purple light over here, and there's white light like coming mm. right here. So it makes the whites just stand out. But I prompt like. Like, I can, can, I can almost see your oh ass my cheek, god, my brother. I don't know. Um, I'm hairy. I pro- wait. No, I still don't really see it. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. I promise you, I'm hairy. <laughs> yes, prove prove it to us. Wait, I promise you, <laughs> I am so hairy. Why hair does it look arm. weird? So <laughs> but it's arm. long. It's like long though. What the hell? I have a friend I, named I AC. I swear I'm a I'm hairy. I don't That's think you're hairy. Stop. I have a friend named AC, and uh, he hasn't tweeted, and I think like a, like two years. It's and I have his cold. notifications on. Oh yeah, about a, a little over a year. And he doesn't have his notifications on. I have no notifications on for him. And he tweeted, "There is no reason to not throw your poop at someone who's beating you up." Mm. Oh, we should do a bracket, Ben. We should go through and find tweets from over a year ago from both of ours and like do a bracket against each other. Mine aren't funny. Mine are never funny. Mine are kind of funny. Don't even have a twat. Uh, never twat. I, look, look. We accept you if you want one, but like it's we understand you don't. Yeah, nobody wants a Twitter. Uh, Twitter. That's what I'm sorry. Twitter. You didn't remember the name of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, it look, I'm, I swear to God, I'm not trying to like Say downplay it like people that have have it. It's just I don't. Yeah, it's I bad. No, it's trash. She, it's I I, I look down on everybody that has it, and I have it. So I just want uh, before we before we wrap this up, I want to. I have a question for all of you. So starting with Steve, on a scale from oh one boy. to ten, how drunk are you? Mm. Or intoxicated are you? I should say in general. Um, intoxicated like seven but five as far as like you know i'm half as far as i probably usually do go okay fair enough but like as far as drunk on like if you want to put it by like a legal scale i'm like probably one and a half times we should have bought i know breathalyzer breathalyzer for this bring out the breathalyzer wait i didn't even say my genius idea i mean i usually i usually max it out at some point like also, it I didn't talk about point four, and I usually hit that. So, also, okay. I didn't talk about how I missed my exit on the highway back home uh, from work today, and so I was almost late because I had to drive all the way around the mountain to get back. But my genius idea to you earlier, Ben, was that we should get all together in real life. And Tristan, you'll you'll help us organize this because you've signed on for way more work than you care to admit. And we're we're gonna find a doctor that's willing to participate in a video with us. And we're all we're gonna do like a Jerry Springer style show where we all go in and get tested for autism, and it's like a game show, but it's like a you you are not more autistic. It's like you are not the father moment, but we get diagnosed for autism. Yes, it's like a game show, but we get tested for autism. Mm -hmm. And the the winner autistic is the winner. Yes, the winner is the most autistic person. I guess I don't know. So I can tell you as I think the loser should be the most autistic person. No, it's not fun to be not autistic. That make him feel bad. (laughs) It's not fun (laughs) to be not autistic. Right? It's more fun to be I autistic. Know. I don't know. That? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was trying to go that I, I'm going to tell you right now, Ben saying that because the most autistic person <laughs> in the room is that's, Ben. See, I, I, it's, <laughs> that's true. That's true. That, is, that I, is the case. I can tell you that because I went to college for it. Um, it's going to be Ben and then I actually don't know the rest of you well enough, but <laughs> Ben is definitely autistic. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> From a Stamp professional. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Mark, I'm happy that I'm happy that you guys see me as the most autistic. Everybody collectively, not just Steve. Uh Brian, on a scale from one to ten, where are you at? I'd probably have to say uh seven or eight. Yeah. Definitely haven't been drinking too much recently. So I mean I'm down two decently high IPAs and then a couple other ones. There you but, go. And you've been hitting the Oh my god. Too, so. Oh my god, that's my starting drink. 
<laughs> it's all Steve, about dude. tolerance. God is ass. I oh love Steve God. too. I don't even know Steve like that, but I love Steve. <laughs> you know what? I appreciate you guys He's saying like, that. He's like, I've Thank drank 32 much. Bud Lights tonight. And, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> He's going to wake up tomorrow and he's like, did I say I ate crow on that podcast? Like, <laughs> no, I'm um, going to McDonald's. That's, act- that's not actually a new thing. Like, I've. I know. So, I know. I'm giving you um, time. No, um, I should say there's only in Connecticut, there's only 50 crow hunters left. And that was of like 1995. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm the only crow hunter left in Connecticut. Wait, can we get you? I, I, I'm sorry. I know you're a secretive private person. Is there any shot in hell we could get you to come on one more episode with a crow? And eat it. Um, have you yeah, eaten yeah, ass? Course. No, okay. Well, I, of course I've eaten ass. Like, nothing <laughs> ass. Like, We're not going to uh, get him to eat ass on the podcast. I um, <laughs> just wanted to know. So I, <laughs> I would, I love to eat crow on your show, but the thing is, there actually is a season for it, and they're out of season. That's fine. So I can't wait a year. Um, I think it's what's the season for crow? We'll book. I'll it, book you two years in advance if we have to. I want this content. I, I don't think I've ever seen a podcast have a. Zach, the question is, would you eat crow? I believe I believe I would try it. I would not try it like (laughs) on my own. I would try it with someone that eats with Steve. I would try crow. So I I believe the next time it's legal and I have to double check the laws, but I think it's September. (laughs) Okay. So we'll do our live episode and then we'll eat crow. I will I will absolutely (laughs) get a crow. Cook it yes. with you, and I will do all. Yes, that'll be such you a great can video. Film everything, yes, such a great I, video. I can, I can do all that. We'll do. I'd we'll be do. Happy oh, to do it. Just brains of sriracha. I, taste I, this. I, taste I'm this. trying to figure out how to not get this taken down from YouTube and upload. It'll get promoted. It'll get on the fucking homepage. Trending buddy. page. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, I gotta make sure if I do it, it's gonna be legal because. No, uh, of course. There are. I don't want illegal hunt. I don't want. I don't want poachers. Is that what it's called when it's illegal? Is that yeah, poaching? Is, Holy ethical any, any, yeah, I don't any, want unethical any, poachers any on here. Poaching, yeah. Yeah. So Man, you're, is I, your dog dead in the background? What the hell's going on with your dog back there? <laughs> she's gone, bro. She's not <laughs> what, coming back. Has she's she dead. been drinking? Let's find out. I'm sorry, Steve. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just no, noticed fine. the dog. Oh, no. I didn't even notice until you said it. I'm like, who the fuck is it? And then she's I saw not reacting to me. If we find out your dog's dead live, I don't think. <laughs> Wait, we should. This video. We should. Okay, we should do a, a taste test where we have crow and we have snake, and we have like. I've eaten snake before. You know what? You have. You know it's, what? It's 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 sold at a few restaurants around where I live. It's an Arizona thing. I mean, it's not an Arizona thing, but like people in Arizona eat snake, and I've had it. Snakes around Arizona. I have, I have an idea. Rattlesnake specifically. I eat rattlesnake. I have an idea where I make. A bunch of wild wild game and stuff like that and fresh stuff like yes. whatever you get from the grocery store. Yes. You try to tell me what is wild game and what's not. Yes. I promise and that sounds I, awesome. I promise you guys you won't be able to figure it out. I'll I'll it, find it, rattlesnake it, right. too, and I, I can't join you in the whole thing, but I'll find someone selling rattlesnake and I'll I'll there we go. But then Steve Steve, that'll be the, the kickstart to your YouTube career. That's when you start making you videos. This so the- I actually was talking about this. Um, so that whole thing, like with the um, offal, which is like fish organs and stuff like that. I want to start doing that because I don't like waste. I don't want to ever kill something and have it be wasteful. Um, mm. I think a lot of manufactured stuff, the stuff you buy at the grocery store, there's a lot of wasted things. And I don't really agree with that. I just, I don't hunt or fish or any of that stuff because I enjoy hurting something. I do it because I think it's better for the environment, better for species and being resourceful. And I think the way I do it is, you know, what's best for really our environment. And I want to get other people to understand that like, 
these things were normal foods. They're healthy. They taste good. And there's no reason not to eat them other than it's a psychological thing. Like it's, you just haven't seen it happen before. And that's why people avoid it. So like, like how many chickens does an average family eat a year? Like that's a basic thing. Like if, know, if like every family can just raise that many chickens. Well, and you know what? Actually, a lot of Scandinavian countries have actually started giving free chickens to families if they will use them and their eggs and everything. The fuck? Zach, it's so fucked up, dude. It's so funny to me. I'm sorry. Zach, that's He's using so his fucking Xbox funny. Mic. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I know why. He's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This is gonna be editing Steve. for Ben. Steve, wait, what? I wait, think wait, 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 wait. I, okay. He's fucked. Can I ruin a sponsorship for a moment? Go for it. Uh, okay. There's a VPN provider out there. I will not name names, so I Call will it. not ruin Say it. that. Nord VPN. Nord VPN. Say I it. I will Who is neither it? confirm. Express VPN. What is it? I will neither confirm nor deny. That it is NordVPN. <laughs> but I've been a Nord subscriber v- of this anonymous VPN service for about a year now. And mm-hmm. it was working fine for a while <clears throat> until about a month and a half ago, they released an update where instead of turning off the VPN, it is now a pause auto connect. So I can oh. no longer permanently disable my VTP VPN. I can now only pause it right. temporarily. Right. And so for whatever reason, and this might be something on my end, it blocks Xbox discord in like Google, like very Great. things Great. that I need to do yep, what I do course. for. So it's time to unsubscribe. I think so. Well, I got to go do through a settings deep dive to make sure it's not something on my end first. But this anonymous VPN service has, which I will not confirm nor deny (laughs) that I am a subscriber of NordVPN. It could be something else. It could not be. I don't know. But they, um, but I'm just saying, we don't know if it's NordVPN or not. Mm -hmm. But whether or not it's NordVPN, this anonymous VPN provider (laughs) has... To ter- to remove the turn off feature. Now it's just a temporary pause, and now it blocks all of my voice chat features. So now it, it randomly disconnects me from all of my voice chat functions Great. about three times a day. Great. And it may or may not have just happened right now. Great. So, um, that's a good explanation. Yeah, I think um, eating meat like that is cool. Um, you know, I think it's not really unethical because, you know, if they are overpopulated and you're doing it yourself, like that's just how we should do it anyways. So I, th- I think you're doing it the, the right way if someone were to be eating meat. Yeah, I, I don't do it the right chain. way. If I were to be eating meat. So, Tristan, are you by any chance a vegan? Or I am, I am not, but both my parents are vegan. Okay. So, yeah. so I personally, <clears throat> as a person that likes to eat every kind of meat that I can, I have no problems with people that don't want to. I believe that anybody that, you know, how you, li- whatever you eat, how you live your life, I think everybody should be feeling justified as long as they're doing it for what they believe in, what they're comfortable with. Um, I, in my experience, and being a very outdoors person, I believe that the way I'm doing it is best for the species that I spend the most time around. But I understand where people are, other people are coming from, and I support their views and why they do cer- things a certain way. Um, it just doesn't fit with my understanding of it. But we've seen so many times in history where everybody is so sure that they're right and then they're not. So if you just dis- discredit someone based on the fact that you don't agree with them, I don't think that's the right way to go about it. And you know, this is the way I choose to live my yeah. life and people are not going to agree with me. And um, I may not agree with what their choices are, but I support their right, right. to make that. They have that. We opinion. Used to- 
We used you to know, serve baked potatoes with a whole stick of butter in the top. <clears throat> I, I I think if you are doing it you're making choices because you think it's the right choice. If you're doing it for the right reasons, that's, that's what you should be doing. Like if you agree, you're right. You're doing something for positive reasons. If you, you know, are trying to do your best, you may, may not always be right. And you don't know until you really see the outcome in the future. You never really know. So, yeah, I mean, I do have to... people's intentions is really nice. I mean, just, you know, it's always questioning, you know, is someone being nice to me just because they're being nice or, you know, is someone actually truly nice? Right. I, it's I... always nice when there's, you know, you meet someone who's genuine. Yeah, you know, there's so many people who are just. No. You're all going to die. You know, I have, I, (laughs) I studied biology for a while. I took, um, I took a, I took a a biotechnology research. Hey, TikTok has a few. (laughs) Get your fucking bitch ass mouth. Hey, we got the art, we got the art side that we can, uh, we can rely on. Yeah. Your art side, just keep your mouth down because you don't know shit about (laughs) anything. Like, I, don't know, I don't know shit about. I make a glorified uh, artist. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I make YouTube videos. Says the for guy a running data. <laughs> Damn, dude. You got but, you good, hey, dude. I've done anything, Listen, I know more about structural steel than you. I bet. Oh yeah. Wait, can, what well, about jet fuel? Listen, I <laughs> have I have the biggest generator in the country, so you can fucking suck my small dick. <laughs> now, nah, Steve, I I, I I bet you know a ton I, about uh building systems and all that. I I definitely yeah. respect that. Yeah, like no. a bunch of mechanical and electrical power stuff. Yeah, I gotta include those in my drawings. Uh, I, I gotta. The thing is, I forget that they don't all know that our friend relationship right here. Like we've known each other for a while. Like, oh, yeah. I break, Steve. I break, I break Brian's balls a lot. He well, it doesn't help ball. that we're in, uh, you know, some, uh, some competing industries That's here. True. Yeah. yeah I'm in it's, insurance. It, it, oh my God. Fuck I'm you. Insurance. I don't know. Have you, you know, actually I had, like so Steve, you. Like, Steve you know have you actually had bad experiences with like architects specifically? Yes. yes. Yep. So, yep. so like it's an architect that is usually architects <laughs> because just dude, just just in my experience, I, I for Steve. <laughs> no, I, 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 I will not lie. I, I'm not I qual- say it again, Steve. <laughs> I'm not qualified to draw a drawing to direct you how to install electrical like panels or anything like that. Yeah, but so we my- use we use consultants. To design yeah, that you, kind of stuff. Design, it's an electrical engineer. You design things that look pretty that can't actually physically be done. So so wait, because <laughs> I've always heard that oh, with oh. an electrician. So Steve, you don't understand electrician, structural situations. Like, but for an electrician, what does that actually mean? Because can't you just run conduit like anywhere? Like the no, wire is pretty uh, absolutely not. I always <laughs> heard it was it was the most important people are plumbing and HVAC before because you can't reroute those super easily but electrical it's like all right they can go so they can kind of like weave their way in between everything so here's it it sucks i I definitely appreciate that so it's not they're the most important it's they are the one thing that you can't really reroute you can't change the path of their things yeah if you change the hvac you're gonna pay like a shit ton of money Well, the thing is, like, you have to run it a certain way because it's such big and it's so structural that you can't reroute it. But none of that will ever work without power. I love true. So you can make a 90 with a a power cable. You can make a 90 in how many inches? Like four inches? You can can get your perfect pipe runs. You can get your perfect (laughs) back and everything like that. And guess what? It won't go do a goddamn thing without any power. We should, for a video, have you guys build a building. I'm imagining the edit. <laughs> oh my god! Steve, you, are... you want to build an ice rink? No. Where did that <laughs> idea come from? Not. Did you have an ice rink in your head for? Yeah. I I, I, sh- I, I can show you how to burn a building. I got an achievement on Xbox Live. Fifteen gamer scores shot down. Prevent one hundred and one thousand twenty-five gamer scores. Diva and Overwatch. I'm so not even playing Madden Overwatch, play. but I got a what the hell? I got oh, an Overwatch achievement. achievement right now. Oh, oh like eight Ethan's hours using of my profile. 
That's it. Ethan's using my profile. He told me this because I don't play competitive Overwatch with them. He's using my account as a Smurf account. He's calling me a Smurf and he's using my account to tank in Overwatch. And he's up, getting dude. me gamers. That is, that is disrespectful and also a sign of weakness from him. He probably <laughs> should healer I, like a little push. Should I, should I call him out? Yeah, yeah. You should say, why are you trying to bully some people in silver when you're uh, when you're playing at a platinum rank? Yo, how many hours of Madden do you have to play it? Currently. That's that's Can some I weak check? sauce stuff. That's that's so, mean. I don't mean to sound Ooh, like stupid, but what is a Smurf account or something? It's when you're already a high this. rank in a video game, and then you create a new account so that you're like reset on the MMR, the multiplayer, oh, okay. whatever rank. He's playing competitive Overwatch, and he has a crazy high rank. And I don't play competitive with them, and he's playing with other people. He wants to rank up, so he's logging into my account to get matched with lower people, so we can rank them up faster. What's when this, Evan what? and I played oh, TF2, Evan. it was called uh, pub smashing, or like uh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. Just- pubs, pubs, yeah, pub smashing, right? No, I used to do we, that. We just go into pubs and just, you know, I used if to do you that have any Destiny sort of coordination. I used to do that in Dude, Destiny. Smurf and Destiny? Yeah. Um, I didn't my know that's what it was called. But like, like, PvP. Guy. But, like, so I, I always thought I sucked. But, like, you know, I won more, a lot more games than I lost. And then I played this one kid who taught me how to play the game. And I didn't know shit about it. And he taught me because we were just playing like some random, like random matchmaking stuff. And we were just bullshitting. And we played against, um, it was a Twitch streamer. And we fucking smoked the shit out of him. Ninja. I've played nine days and two hours of Madden 23. Nine days? It wasn't Ninja, but it was someone (sighs) else. 23. But so I started playing with this kid, and then that's what we started doing. It was like we just bring up other people because most of the matches were like three player matches. So mm. we were trying to find someone else to like to be like a third for us. So it wasn't like we were trying to help him out, just like yeah, you just got to find one dude stuff. to be uh, we're trying acceptable. to find someone else who like fits our team because like I was a run and gun type, and the other one was like smart, laid back, and then we finally found someone else who's like a good sniper, and we just started doing really Cleaning well. Up. Yeah, and then um, I, don't know, I just stopped playing because <laughs> I stopped playing Destiny because uh, every every uh, expansion kept it kept coming out, and then they started vaulting shit. And I was like, I'm good. Yeah. I gave up. I was like, I'm what good. That's the game that now, that's you guys have the most is, hours. But they just oh, I put yeah. like. I put probably six. Steve, is Destiny the mo- game you most have the most hours in? Yeah, I want to say it's like three thousand hours. Holy fuck! Probably yeah, Minecraft more. for me, it's probably around How there too. No, no, not three thousand, three, three hundred, three hundred hours. Because I know for TF two, that's mine, and it has uh like nine hundred basically. Jesus. Yeah, I probably, I probably in Minecraft, I probably that's have cool. like. 2000 at this point i have i play so much minecraft I, I wait what, for me to well i feel like runescape bry would be yours <sighs> oh wait yeah no runescape definitely has way more yeah <laughs> i don't know if there's a way for me to rank my games by time played on xbox the iron man i'm logged in right now i have 63 days played yeah what is i was that? gonna say that's like with 63 times 24 that's that's 1300 something right That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's fifteen, that's 15. twelve. Yeah, and I've played twelve days of Civ Six. That's just my Iron Man. I have seventy days played on my main. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. Windows game is by far the most. Um, off the top of your head, can you take out of all the games you've played, uh, Zach? What what do you think the top one would be? Halo Three. Yeah. Halo yeah. Three. You said. Yeah. Solid answer. Wow. Tristan? Probably like Black Ops 2 when I was in middle school. Yeah? But yeah, I don't I don't really play video games that much anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. uh I mean I, I I can't hang out with all my friends online for the most part. So that's like yeah, that's how we do it. But yeah, um yeah. all right. So uh 
Zach, I got a question for you. What? What is your question for me? Do you want to outro this fucking show so I can go to sleep? No. Wait, I'm trying to think if there's a game that I have more hours on just on Xbox Series X and not anything else. Zach, no one actually cares. That's so me. Just kidding. I <laughs> no one does care, but I can't think of anything. Hey, no, let me hear um, it. <laughs> if you liked this episode and you don't want to see um, uh, YouTube take it down, uh, um, there's not really much you could do about that. So, um, dog, I got a level with you. It's been real. I hope whenever I watch this again, I look back on it and say, you know what? It wasn't as bad as I thought. Oh, Tristan's Tristan so is so uh, handsome. Look at him. Look at that. Wait, it's, leave a it's comment so down below if you want to give him a kiss right now after seeing this scene. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, everyone. How long was this, man? Three hours. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. You're going to have a trip editing this because this was a fucking... <laughs> My man. It was a funny, but it was a... It was a Intense. I intense. went through six beers, a six pack, a full six pack. I don't think you forgot how drunk I was. All right, Thank everyone. Good night. <laughs> that, wait, good. we gotta plug it. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe oh, to okay, we're gonna take a reflux. Figure it out, Zach. Figure it out, Zach. All right. Look, everyone. That's we got it. A second, Sub- <laughs> we got a second channel called Regurgitated oh, Reflex where we clip know. everything, and it's also pretty funny. We do little community post polls and everything, and it's pretty cool. And I think you'd like it, so you should check that out. Uh, first of all, uh, second of all, um, you know, just leave a like on this video. I mean, that's crazy. If you've gotten this far and you've liked this, I mean, you obviously like it. Mm-hmm. If you've gotten this far, mm-hmm. so like, leave a like down there. Um, if you wanted to comment, that's fine. I would just say like, personal appearances are like. You use your best judgment on that. Uh, and then finally, subscribe. We're looking for new subscribers, new little subbies. Um, it's, uh, y- you know, it's, it's, it's a challenge. It's, it's a struggle for real. Um, help a honky out. And, uh, right. and sub- 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 subscribe down below. All right, everyone. That's the show. I'll come back sober next time. Let's go, dude. We I'm sorry. So I nipple. Was, cut that. Cut that out. <laughs> cut that out. Um, everybody say good night. Everybody say good night. Good night, guys. Exposed. Later. Like a live streamer. <laughs>